Hi, Vic. Hi, Go Bobo. Can we get some yos? Hi, guys. I actually clicked the live today. Ain't it crazy? Yo, if I run a three minute ad, then I get 62 minutes of no pre rolls. That's kind of crazy. It used to be just 60. Hi, guys. Did you miss me? Type one. <laughs> <coughs> I joked on my own spit. Guys, new YouTube video, click the link, go watch it later. Did any of you guys watch it this weekend? I know not a lot of people watch the actual St. Patrick's Day stream, it's because I streamed at like 5 p.m. Oopsie. But the YouTube video highlight is out! I actually got it done. Also, best of March compilation should be posted tomorrow. I I find it best to post it a week after. I noticed on months where I upload it late, it gets more engagement, so... I don't know. It also gives the clippers, like, an extra week to clip. So best of comp will be posted on YouTube tomorrow. Oh, I've been laying here sick in bed. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, just chug some orange juice. That should work, right? But good on you for staying home. I see so many bozos, like, go out and do shit when they're still sick. It's like, no, just stay home. But you know what? I'll be streaming most of today, so we'll hang out. <clears throat> Man, I remember the last time I got sick, it was October. It's because I hung out with my friend, and we hung out for the weekend. And then after, like, they went home, they were like, oh yeah, I think... My brother has the flu. I was like, what? So then, like, a few days later, my friend was sick, and then I got sick. And that's how community spread happens. So, guys, if you're gonna hang out with anybody, ask if they're sick. <laughs> if you're immunocompromised. Because some people just forget. I try to go to work. Yeah, don't go to work. <laughs> You best claim some of your sick hours. You know what? It's honestly kind of sick because Washington State um, now guarantees paid sick leave for like families and just guaranteed sick leave. You just, and like, if your employer doesn't honor it, you can snitch and then the company gets fined and they can't do anything. It's pretty sick. <clears throat> I'm getting paid to rot here. Slay. Okay, face came on in 10 seconds. I also haven't talked all day. This is my first time talking, so I'm gonna be a bit raspy. This is my morning voice. <laughs> Hello. Good morning, good afternoon. The music is so loud for me. Oh my god. I literally have my laptop volume at 5, and it's so too loud. I wouldn't use headphones, but I'm trying my best to not use headphones when I'm at my computer, because I always wear headphones when I'm out and about. And like, but that's for like sensory reasons. It's very loud outside. But at home, it's quiet. So no headphones at home. Face real? I know, right? Is this what you expected? Type one. <clears throat> Hello, good morning. It is 1026 AM on Monday, March 8th. I'm live a bit early. But that's because we got a little bit of leveling up to do. I need to stop saying grinding. Because that's not appropriate. But we had Kobobo and Vicant Vicantant. Wait, did I say March? It's April. Lamau. Anyway. <clears throat> Thank you guys for chatting in the Just Starting Soon screen. It is Monday. Yesterday. I didn't stream. 
I did work on some editing, so I did work a little bit. You know, full-time content creator, you never have a day off. And then, I hung out with my favorite sister because she had the day off of work. So we got food, and then I got some video games because there's a few like retro game stores in my area. So I got some Wii games. I got, I'm not going to show them because they have like the, the stickers on them still. I got to take them off. I got this Amiibo Animal Crossing board game. It was eight bucks. I was like, why not? And then I also got, it was Mario All-Stars, which is like Mario 1, 2, and 3 on the Wii. <laughs> so, like, I know they're ported to the Switch, but I bought the Wii version. So I was like, why not? And then I also got, it was like a knockoff Nintendogs game. And I felt really bad because I was in the store and obviously like they have games like on the shelves and then in a case. And I was looking around and usually I don't ask to open the case because I feel bad. But like there was nobody else in the store. And I saw they had one of the Pokemon, it's not Tekken, but it was one of the Pokemon games you told me I should play. It was for the Wii, it was like Pokemon token tournament or some shit. I was like, oh my god, Chad told me to play that. So, I remember. So I got that out of the case, and then she goes to the counter, and she looks through the back to find the disc. She couldn't find it. So no Pokemon Tekken, but not Tekken game. They didn't have it. So they lied. So she gave me a 20% discount, which is honestly pretty cool. I saved like 10 bucks for that L that they did. But, anyway, so that was yesterday. Uh, yeah, and then my sister and I played Mafia for a few hours. Yeah, so that was yesterday. Today, plan is simple. Continuing the Peace Lock 2024 is day 13. Let's do a little YouTube intro. You guys know the drill. Dude, my voice is so broken. I need to, like, actually start doing warm-ups, right? I should. <clears throat> also, I have... Bolt House Farms Breakfast Smoothie Berry Edition. Let's see if this one is actually good. I don't know if I'm going to keep getting these yogurt ones because they have like 10% more sugar than the chocolate one. And they have less protein. But I like the single serving size. Okay. Everybody, you know the drill. Say hi, YouTube. We're doing a little intro. Okay. I didn't get it at Target. They have these at like Walmart for the brokies. <laughs> anyway, okay. It is day 13, technically day 14 of the Peace Lock 2024. And today, wait, why am I pausing so much? <laughs> I only see those drinks at Target, really? I never go to Target. It's so overpriced. Like Target is for like the white women who have money. Or whose husbands have money. And I don't have money and I don't have a husband. They have them at Walmart. Anyway. I'm gonna reset. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I work for... You're white. <laughs> okay, we need to do the stupid intro. Okay, okay. <clears throat> it is day 13, technically day 14 of the Peace Lock 2024. And last time when we left off... I had lost Su, which was honestly the worst loss of my whole Peace Lock career. I lost Su to a stupid Surskit. So I had to spend an extra two hours the last time, and probably an extra hour or two today, leveling up my Soul Rock and Aaron. That way I can have Rock Pokemon for the sixth gym. <laughs> why, did I, why, did I, why did I pause like that? I forgot the city name. So I have to spend extra time leveling on my Soul Rock and Aaron. That way I can be ready for the 6th gym in Fortress City. And once I inevitably defeat the 6th gym single-handedly, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, we're going to explore Lily Cove City? Question mark? I think that's where the Pokemon contests are, so I'm finally going to see that in the game. I love those episodes in the anime, so I'm really excited to see Lily Cove. I love how serious you become when doing YouTube intros. Shut up, that's gonna be in the video now. Stop. Stop. I okay, guess get the music back on. Well, you know why? Because, like, YouTube has changed so much. Like, people aren't gonna sit through, like, a five minute, like, spiel. They wanna. 
it's kind of like you know what's it really interesting well wait okay, i'll actually talk about this when we're playing the game that way we can like actually start speed running <laughs> speed running omega lol also we only need one more subscription to get rid of a pokemon and my last caught pokemon was no shup it don't kill shup it okay I also zoomed out my camera a little bit so you don't see the shiners. I typed it in chat on purpose. You're so mean. But honestly, that's hilarious. <clears throat> I have a few like we're gonna. I can't talk. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna start my timer. And we're in. Okay, let's double check my party. Oh yeah, I stopped for time last time, so like we'll keep leveling with Pepper. So right now, so my Soul Rock is level 32, and then Erend I think is like level 23. So we need to get Erend and Soul to at least level 33 minimum, because I think for the gym I'm gonna bring Soul, Soul Rock. <laughs> I'm gonna bring Soul Rock, Erend, Ralph, maybe Pelipper. Why not? Why not? I should not bring Blaziken. Because Blaziken is fighting. Even though he's fire as well, he's gonna be weak to any flying attack. Also, I should not bring any ground Pokemon. So, guys, get cozy. We're gonna be leveling for a while. Also, I think I've gotten all the Pokemon that are in Route 120 and 121, so we don't necessarily need to search for now. We were talking about this earlier, but I think a big reason why a lot of YouTube content has changed where they need like a 10 to 30 second intro at the start to basically tell you what's going on in the video. It's also prevalent in like YouTube thumbnails where the title will be a question where it's like, oh, what is the Apple iPhone 12 better than the Samsung 69 or something? But then it'll have the answer like in the thumbnail. I think the reason why a lot of creators do that now is because a lot of viewers just, like, enjoying the content. They don't necessarily need to know the gimmick right away, they just want to, like, have a good time. I think that's also why you're seeing a trend in how movie trailers are edited. Like, you know the cliche, like, I've noticed movie trailers in the past, like, maybe 3-4 years, they will give you the whole plot and, like, major spoilers in the trailer. Like, it's basically telling you everything that's gonna happen in the movie, but you still watch it anyway. I think it's because a lot of consumers are so nitpicky, they don't want to spend their money or their time on something they don't think they would enjoy. I generally think that's why a lot of traditional media and also online media will, like, spoil so much. That was scary, I got scared. <laughs> oh yeah, if I see a Meryl, I gotta fly. I forgot. And also, I think like doing a 10 to 30 second intro on YouTube is good. Because not everybody reads the video description, especially with like the influx of shorts content. Like people just don't read the descriptions like at all now. And if you tell people what you're gonna do, then they probably get a good feel for what to expect. Because, like, if you just open a video with gameplay right away and not explain what you're doing, then it's kind of like, what, what are we doing here? And they're gonna click off. Okay, let's break this bad boy open. Oh my god, he's so cool! He's got so much swag. Ooh, it smells good! It smells like blackberries. I'm running away because the swagger is so annoying. <clears throat> this one actually really pleasant. Oh my god, Absol! Second monitor viewers, click on the stream. I didn't like the strawberry protein drink because like it was literally so sour. But the blackberry one is nice. I don't necessarily like the the oat undertone, though. It's not my favorite, but I don't mind it. 
No! He's quick! Um, I'm scared. <laughs> I forgot, if I see an Absol, I gotta switch to Blaziken. I don't want to lose Pepper. Oh, he bit me! Yeah, so is level 32. Maybe I can start battling with so. I think I'll try. I'm gonna rearrange my party a little bit when I get to Pokemon Center. Or to the Pokemon Center. nightmare last night that I went to the sixth gym and I lost and then I cried on stream and then I didn't stream for a week because I was like I'm not doing peace lock again if I have to reset and I'm like serious about that if I like fuck up so bad that I have to reset <sighs> I don't know if I can do this <laughs> Carnivore in the box for now. We don't necessarily need him. Yeah, I want to try Battle of Soul Rock to see how Soul Rock does. But either way, I need to keep Blaziken because Blaziken can fight the Marianas when I level up. I'll keep Pelipper. So I'm going to try Battle of Soul Rock for a little while and then level up Eren. That way, if I give Eren the XP share and battle with Solrock, Solrock will probably be like level 35 by the time Eren gets to 33. That is the plan. The plan is simple. Wait, why am I keeping Pelipper, though? Eh. No same. Strength. Builds enormous power, then slams the foe. Pokemon fans in chat, is strength a two-turn move or a single turn? I'm gonna review So's summary as well. Oh yeah, if I see a Moochina or Mighty Ender, then I have to switch up to Blaziken, because so is a Psychic type. Yeah, so probably the strat with Soul Rock is Fire Spin first, and then Confusion. And then at the gym, I would just have to use Rock Throw. Okay. Let's get to leveling. Just jump out of the tree house.
I can't remember if water is strong against rock. Oh yeah, I also need to give So a berry, just in case. Because I, I, if I do confusion, that won't kill. I'm switching to- oh, this is why I kept Pelipper, okay. I'm gonna give so a berry. Get back on track. I, mean, I don't think so can even battle any of the Pokemon in this area because there's. Oh, wait, Mighty Ant. Or, no. Mighty and his Merrills won't work. It, they can only battle an Oddish. Yeah, Poison is weak against Psychic. Oh, I should have done Confusion first. Why did I do Fire Spin? Firesman doesn't do that much damage. Well, I'll keep trying. So annoying. You just don't want to fight, do you? You know, these fights might be quicker if I just use Pelipper. But I'll, I'll stick with So for now.
even if Soul's only type of advantage Pokemon is Oddish, I guess it's fine if that way they gradually earn XP alongside Errand. I'm only doing fly now because they lowered my defense. And they use rollout, that was a good choice. You know what? I might level in Route 121. Because I think there's more Pokemon that has a type advantage for Soul. So I'm gonna make my way back to 121 and I'll just level closer to the Pokemon Center. Okay, let's go. Something so can destroy. <laughs> Watch this. This Oddish is a menace. My god. Oh, speed running. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I ain't fucking around with this. sense that poison damage does damage when it's back in the pokeball but they should just like not do that i don't need realism for that part of the game
Now on to round 121. I hate Oddish. Try cut through the water to save some time. Ooh, secreto. Scorch slab. You found one TM Sunny J. Man, I totally would have missed this. Level Chip. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Oh, there's no way for me to cross the water this way. I have to go through the grass. A level 10 Meryl? <laughs> Watch this. Easy. Okay, going in the water was a waste of time. All I got was a TM, which is like kind of sick, but also like not what I wanted. I was trying to speed run. Whenever I unlock Fly, I want to go back to the first city and buy more potions. Okay, the paralysis isn't as bad. Oh, I thought it was poisoned. Yeah, take him out. It's fine if so is paralyzed. 
they're probably not going to battle much anyway. You make my way back to Route 121. The berries are done. We continue on. a crit take him out berries I have to be diligent about watering my berries because I forgot to middle that or to water the middle one. Back to route 121. So I'm going to go to the Poké Center after these berries and this fight. Wingle is flying slash water, so I should still swap out. Oh, wait. <laughs> this won't do anything! Wait, I can't escape? Uh-oh. a type of vantage. Er... I'm going to heal first because I'm scared.
And then I'm just gonna fly. Oh, he's still in the air. Pepper's no longer confused. Yo! Aaron grew to level 26. Wait, I can use my bike in this area, I think. Yes, sir. And more berries. Finally, back to the city. So I'm going to level up in 121 for now. Shop it. Ghost is powerful against psychic. That means I should switch. 
fighting had no effect. I assume flying won't have effect either. So if I get a ghost type, I have to swap in Blaziken. Because I know the fire move does do damage. And probably water too. But I don't really put it... I don't want to put in Pelipper because they are similar level. Easy. Gloom! Level 28. Snow has the advantage here. Poison doesn't hurt me that much, though, so I should be fine. Hopefully this will KO. <laughs> Guess not. So, grew to level 33. Now So is officially ready for the gym. We're still gonna level up Erend in the background, though. I'm gonna go up here. That way I have a gate I can run into. It seems like Pelipper snaps out of confusion fairly quickly. I'm gonna go heal. My Pokemon aren't doing too good. Yeah, we're gonna be leveling for a while.
shop it. I have to swap in a blaze again. Yeah, the Pokemon on Route 21 are about the same level. Still not necessarily a good type app, type match for Soul. But you know what? It's fine. I was just honestly getting tired of seeing all the Puchianos. And there is Gloom here as well. So I think the type advantage is Oddish and then Gloom. Also, Rock Throw isn't strong against Oddish now. It was before. Hmm. I think the next Pokemon I want to level up in the background, like in between the 6th and the 7th gym. I kind of want to upgrade and level my Puchiana, because Mariana seems fairly strong. And especially the Intimidate trait is huge. Easy.
Oh wait, Oddish is weak to the flying attacks, not rock types. I don't know why I mixed that up earlier. I just did 30 damage on myself with confusion. That's insanity. You know what else is crazy? Watching ads. But you know what? Sometimes you gotta do it. Because guys, we are an hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing. For $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a sub available. You're back in. Dodge the supersonic. Very nice. Kick doesn't work, I forgot. Reduce double kick by two. Alright. At least it only did status moves, that could have been bad potentially.
spike must have a lower accuracy. It keeps failing. Aaron grew to level 27. Getting there. I hope Aaron learns some new moves soon. Or maybe... Wait, if Aaron evolves... I assume its second evolution does something. I just realized I have a Mariana. I caught a Mariana earlier. I forgot. So I don't need to level up my original Puchiana. Serio? Yeah, I'm booking it to the Pokemon Center. Actually, never mind. I lied. I'm not risking that. It was going faster at the animations when I was on the bike. Hmm. Those glooms and otters really are a pain. this guy faster than me my goodness I missed And imagine being taken up by one of your own.
I'm not risking Blaziken hitting himself again. Paralysis is better than poison. I kind of want to see if Dark is strong against flying. So I'm going to swap out my Pelipper for Mightyena. And I'll make Mightyena my backup backup Pokemon for now. And I can see how well it does against Wingle. You might even level twenty five. Yeah, Mightyena does have Intimidate, which is what I wanted. Hasty Nature. Sand Attack, Bite, Order Sleuth, and Roar. Yeah, the only offensive move it has is Dark Bite. I'll try it against a Wingle. And if that works, then maybe I'll bring Mighty Anna to the gym as well. good to bring to the gym anyway because it'll lower their attack with Intimidate. Similar to how Gyarados was. Level 28 Wingle. I just want to see if Bite is effective or not. His attack went down. He yeah, added a significant amount. I'm confused? Uh-oh. That's what I was worried about. 
Okay, bite is neither strong nor weak against water or fighting or flying. So I can I could bring it to the gym, but I'm indifferent still. So Mikey is not good to fight against Wingles. Can I run? No. That cost a turn. This was a mistake. Now, surely. Surely. Or I, I should keep. I'll keep him in. One more bite. No longer confused. Oh, I, I forgot I was confused. Jesus Christ. That was a bad decision. Hi, Peason. It's Jackson. Catching any Pokemon lately? A little while ago, I came close to nabbing one, but it got loose. Right? Take care. Mighty Item might be good to bring to the gym, but not for leveling as of right now. So I probably won't bring Mighty Item to the 6th gym. bring because I don't want to level up Pelipper anymore I'm gonna get a board water is weak to electric let's see Minectric has howl quick attack spark and odor sleuth Maybe Minectric I can play around with? So level 26. Razor Leaf? Stomp. Or maybe a better choice would be Tropius, because Tropius is grass and flying. Grass is strong against water. I'll try Tropius. I don't know how much I'll battle with Tropius, but why not? I'll try him out. Because I just need one Pokemon for those silly little Wingles. Okay, we continue on.
Okay. Almost missed a big time there. Also, I'm almost at 80 hours. <laughs> almost two full work weeks. Finally a glue! In serio? The swagger seems such a silly move. Using swagger only makes sense if you have a way to raise your defense as well.
Oh, that's bad. Curse keeps hurting me? I didn't know that's what the curse move did. That's kind of wild. I think the only Pokemon I had that had curse was Torkoal. But I got rid of it because the success rate was low. I'm going to do a Hyper Potion. Just to get the full heal. And then I'll do a blaze kick. Because it seems like the curse does... Oh, it's lowering my defense too. The curse does like 40 to 50 damage. Yeah, that did about 40. There we go. Man, that one kind of cooked me a little bit. Ghost Pokemon. Finally, a Wingo you can try out the trophy area now. He doesn't even fit on the screen. <laughs> Razor leaf. No way, I'm confused. Come on. That's annoying. Yep. Okay, it's doing more damage when it's hurting myself, not actually, like, doing shit. Bro. Thank you, Copium. Wingo's copium is really annoying. Hi, 
Electra. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Just watch the eclipse? Nice! I didn't. I didn't get any of those glasses. I have my windows closed. I'm not frying my retinas. Was it cool? Not gonna lie. I've never been the type to be like in this space. I think it's because it's so unattainable. Like the ocean is cool. Cause you know, you can go to the ocean. Like all you gotta do is be like, have a little bit of change. But to go to space? You gotta be like a gazillionaire to go to space. Rut row. Oh, it takes one HP every few steps. Okay. Yeah, that's not- okay, it's not that bad. It's just scary. Oh, he still takes damage at the Pokemon Center? Damn. Yeah, it's gonna take forever to level up Erend. Erend got a level 28. Aaron does steel and rock. Metal claw, steel move. Steel is immune to dark moves. So maybe Aaron. Aaron can probably fight a Poochie and a Mightyena. I'm not sure if they can get poisoned. He's got Metal Claw, Headbutt, def Defense, and Strength. Two Normal, one Metal. I want to try and battle with Aaron, maybe. I will give Aaron a citrus berry to hold. Because Aaron is now the same level as the Pokemon in this area. Aaron should be fine. Wait, how much HP does he have? I clicked the wrong button. He's 75. 
Yeah, Aaron should be fine. I don't know what steel is weak against, though. Maybe fire? Okay, dark moves should have very little or no effect against Aaron, I believe. That was a crit, but it's not effective. Oh, steel is not strong nor weak against Poochiana. What? Hmm? Oh, strength is a one turn move. Nice. Skarmory is steel and flying. Oh, it's probably one of those scenarios where just because it's strong doesn't mean it's weak against the other thing. Okay. Ooh, shop it. It's Amy. I challenged someone else after we battled. I came close, but I ended up losing. <laughs> oh well. Not curse. Such a jerk. I'm gonna go heal. I'm scared. Claw may raise my attack level. Okay. But it does the least amount of damage. and it cuts my attack. So I guess Aaron can fight Poochina's but not Mightyana's. It's not worth it.
Let's see, Aaron's at 28, so is 34. I gotta keep leveling for a while. Dang, it's so- it's generally so bad that I lost sub. Uh, like, actually. I would be done by now. Like, ages ago. <laughs> Okay, I want to see if Steel is strong against... Okay, there is no way Water is strong against Steel. Ain't no way. Thank you for doing Mist first, thank you. Okay, so that means steel is very weak against water or flying. It's gotta be weak against water. What? I'm a flying type though, what the hell? <laughs> what? I'm confused. Maybe flying is strong against grass types? What? Maybe that's why they're strong against Oddish? What? Mystic water item? What's that? I might just caught that from you. You receive the mystic water. Mystic Water, a hold item that raises the power of water type moves. Okay, okay. That's kind of cool. I didn't even realize I had an item. Oh, taunt. Taunts the foes into only using attack moves. Oh, okay. That's why I never thought it had an effect. Maybe I can bring Absol as a backup. Because they got Bite and Razor Wind, which is a normal, not a flying type move. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to like level up in the background. Maybe Kecleon? I just 
just want to find a Pokemon that I can use against Wingle. I'll try Kecleon for a little bit. Because right now I'm just trying to figure out type advantages. Okay, I should write down Steel, Weak against Water. Oh, I just realized... Oh wait, Aaron has a citrus berry. I'm fine. It is Lao here. I've continued with my studies in the art of concealment, but I've been too successful. No one has been able to find me. My success makes me lonely. Like smoke, I disappear. Farewell. <laughs> Everybody's just a theater kid in this world. Luciana, finally something Aaron can fight. I flinched, really? I forgot what the sniffing did. A crit. problem is Aaron does not have a lot of HP. <sighs> I don't want to risk losing him. Still unsure if steel is strong against poison. I would think not. Let's try iron defense. My defense sharply rose. Oh, swagger, really? I'm playing around. The moment things do swagger, I'm out. Aaron? Oh, your attack gets cut too. Ah, uh, the mighty. I think the only thing that Aaron can fight is. <laughs> is. a Pucci. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna try Kecleon. Now, Kecleon is normal, but he has dark and psychic type moves. Now he's a flying type. Oh, okay, so when he takes the attribute, that means any. Like, if does a fire attack move, it doesn't move. It doesn't work. 
Psybeam. No, I'm confused. I'm running. <laughs> what? Well, that was almost the wrong potion. <laughs> Please don't. No. Thank you. Goodness. My God. My team right now is ass. They're so bad. The wingles just cook me. You know what? I just want to level up Erend. So I think we're going to bring back Ralph. Just so we can get through this quicker. Because I think Ralph has a type advantage over everybody except for Mariana. But that's an easy swap out. Because oh, I want to level up Ralph anyway for the next gym. Also, I'm looking at my live slots. I'm at 80 hours and 15 minutes. Or 11 minutes. Guys, two full work weeks in the books. Hopefully I'll get overtime. Oh, they don't have a type advantage over ghosts, though. Not the curse. Oh no! Holy fuck!
I need to do Hyper Potion. Because the curse does like 50 damage. If he does another Nightshade, I'm dead. Oh my god. Oh, Spite. That too. Man, this curse is crazy! Ay, Dios mío! I just can't catch a break. Maybe I should go back to... 120. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to 120. Because having to swap to shop it is not worth it. Back to home sweet home. I forgot. Me all of a day. I forgot. <laughs> but you know what I didn't forget? That it's raining. And also, it's time for me to run an ad. Because we are two hours in the stream. So if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $4.99. Just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime for your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe to see if you got a sub available. Also, I know I'm not talking to Mr. J, but that's because, like, I need to focus. There's too many Pokemon that, like, don't- that I don't have a type advantage over that it's gonna keep cooking me. I'm not gonna make the same mistake with Sa again.
finally in battle. Ralph should be able to one-hit Keo, I think. Yeah, the level Ralph is level 39. Absol is dark, so I gotta swap out. Jerk move. What's Aaron dead? Only 28. I'm now realizing Ralph is still a psychic, just like Soul. So I'm gonna have to swap him out as. I'm gonna have to swap Ralph out just as much. I might as well make So the party leader, that way I can gradually level up So. I'll give So the quick law. Just so So is guaranteed first hit.
Ralph will only have to be swapped in for Meryl's. So it's getting stronger. And Sadio? I think there was either a Kecleon or a secret here. There's nothing. do a little bit of shopping. I got 129,000.
Was denke? Oh, peace and hi there. This is Abigail. How are your Pokemon holding up? Mine just won a battle. My Magnemite was spectacular, I must say. I wish I could have shown you. <laughs> See you again.
Erend is close to leveling up. This gym, the leader has 27 to 31. So ideally, I should get Erend to at least 31. I don't necessarily need 33. But we keep going. to level 29. Two more levels and then we're ready. Aaron is trying to learn Iron Tail. Iron Tail attacks with a rock hard tail. May lower defense. Okay. Iron Tail has 75% accuracy though. Ooh. Strength is 80. Headbutt is 70. Metal Claw is 50. Fifty seems kind of low. Also, where's Aaron's tail? <laughs> it's like that one Poke Bark meme where. Oh, what's it called? It's like the one Poke Bark meme where Primeape is trying to teach Pikachu Iron Tail. <laughs> See, these do 80, 70. I'll swap out Metal Claw. 1, 2, and poof! Aaron forgot Metal Claw and learned Iron Tail. So I guess Aaron is not going to learn any rock moves soon. Kind of bad. Oh my god, an Absol? In no way. Rock is a status move. Rock Tomb only does 50 damage, but it lowers their speed. I still don't get a Rock Smash is fighting. It has Rock in the name. Doing is kind of cool. Oh, Thief is a dark type move. And it steals their held out, and that can be kind of huge for our final form. For a fight. I want to teach Aaron Rock Tomb. I should. 
But I only have one of these. Because the only rock type move I have now is Soul Rock. So, go to level 35. They have 104 HP now. At least I can escape after Swagger. That's the only good thing about it. Since Rock Throw only has 15 PP, I'm just vocalizing this now so I can think about it later. I think I want to make Ralph my party leader, and then So as secondary member. That way, whenever it's like a for sure flying type advantage, I'll put in So. Because I might need to save So for the final gym leader. It's only got 15 PP. They also have Confusion, power level 50. Well, it's the same power level as Ralph. So I guess So is pretty well-rounded. I'm just thinking of who I want to be like the first person in. 
Hello, Peace, and it's Diana. I tried to catch a nice boink a little while ago, but it got away. I was sure disappointed. Okay, bye. The Rapsol. So many dark types. Oops. That could have been bad. Nineteen hundred to the next level, so that's about eight more encounters. Eight to ten, so probably like twenty more encounters. Hopefully another like thirty minutes.
Let's see if So can one hit KO this Oddish. He's so strong! Look at him go. A sea dot? This is the first time seeing a sea dot in this area. Could be a rare. Hi, Billy. Can we get some yos? Hello, look, a sea dot. Ain't no way. Okay, sea dot is grounded grass. I should be fine. Yup. It's been a while since we've seen a sea dot. Oh, memories. Who was number seven? Oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> it was uh, my graveler, which was the Pokemon I needed for this stupid gym. It was a whole debacle the last time I played. It was actually horrible. I lost Sa uh, to a Surskit. <laughs> Not the Surskit. Yeah, I forgot it was a water type. It was a horrible loss. Like, all day I've been leveling, and if I wouldn't have lost Sa, I would have beaten the gym by now. For sure. But you know what? You make mistakes, and you gotta work hard to fix them. You can't give up. Okay, watch this. So is gonna one hit KO. Easy. Can I just get like 20 Oddish in a row? That'd be great. Hiya, Beeson. It's Isaac. How are things with you? I've been battling on, but I haven't won very often. I can't get it together, right? Take care. I'm thinking. 
I think I just need to get Aaron to level 30 and then have him hold the XP share. Make so the party leader, Ralph Q number 2, Gyarados number 3, uh, random Pokemon, and then Blaziken. So I just want to get Aaron to level 30 right now. That's the goal. I, I want to beat the gym now. I'm like, I'm... I'm like... I just want to finish it. Because so is level 35, already a few levels above. And if anything, if I lose so, Ralph and Magikarp are strong enough. Oh, that almost one hit. No, I'm paralyzed. I've never seen a Meryl have huge power. I wonder what that status move is. Or not status move, but... I don't remember what it's called. I don't know. <laughs> I don't play Pokemon. Seven hundred XP till Aaron is ready for the gym, so probably four more encounters. The end is near, but not a bad ending. The end of leveling, hopefully. I know so is paralyzed, but we're gonna try. We did it! Oh, come on. Little sliver. Hit yourself. <laughs> so is so cool. Thank you. 
one more encounter. And then I, one or two more encounters, and then I think Aaron will be ready. Hi, Alex. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Gym battle in like 10 minutes, surely. Level 30. Aaron is now ready for the gym. So you know what? Let's head over there now. I'm getting impatient. I've spent like three hours leveling more than I should have between today and the last time we did Peace Lock. I just want to win this. Now I actually have to think for this gym. Because since I don't have so this is going to be a huge advantage that I lost. So I still think so, party leader. Gardevoir, position number two. Blaziken, last position. Because since he's fighting type, if he takes a hit, uh, it won't be good. We'll keep Aaron as Q number three. I know Aaron doesn't have any rock type moves, but he's rock and steel. If for some reason I lose soul rock, I will teach Aaron rock throw. Hopefully it won't have to come to that. But that's why Aaron is still level 30. He's still high enough level. Now I need to decide the other two that I want to bring. For sure, Magikarp. <laughs> Magikarp is going in. And then... Let's see, for this gym, I need to be 27 to 31. Let's see what- Torkoal's level 32. Let's see what he's at. Or what he's got. Flamethrower, Smog, Body Slam, and Fire Spin. So fully, basically, offensive build I have here. And he's level 32, so he will have a higher attack than the Pokemon in the gym. Kecleon, I don't want to bring him to a gym. I don't know how to play with him yet. Goldeen will die. Skarmory is Steel and Flying, I believe, but he's only level 28. Swift, Peck, Sand Attack. Yeah, I don't want to bring Skarmory as a backup. Mightyena only has Bite, and they're only level 25. Pelipper, level 31. Two Flying Moves, and Protect. I didn't teach him Surf? I thought I taught him Surf. I guess I didn't. Okay, so as a last resort... In only a last resort, I will bring Torkoal. Hopefully we won't have to use him. Okay, to reiterate, the party for the 6th gym in Fortress City. Soul Rock party leader. Bardevoir. Last resort. Aaron. If I need to use him, I will. Magikarp. Because flying shouldn't do much damage to him. Torkoal, and then Blaziken, but if I have to put in Blaziken, dude, it's gonna be a reset run. Ain't no way I'm killing Blaziken. Okay. Now, I need to work on what items I want to give them. 
So, for sure... I was thinking about this. Maybe I can give an X attack. Because then, then it'll, like, guarantee Merc the bad guys. Because I don't- I would like to give So a berry, but they have 104 HP. And the only disadvantage that So has is water and dark. And I do not think we're gonna see a water or dark type at this gym. So, I'm gonna try something out. I'm gonna try using X attack. I will try it. Ralph? I have a lot of money. And Ralph was level 39, so they should be faster anyway. Yeah, I have a lot of status heals. Oh, elixirs. I also need to go buy more ethers. I only have one. Yeah, I need to go buy like five ethers. That way if... If so runs out of PP for rock throw, then I have extras. Just in case, if I have to swap in Ralph, I'll have Ralph hold the amulet coin. Aaron right now is holding XP share, which is what I want because I want to gradually level up Aaron. Everybody else, I will give a berry. I have four citrus berries. I will give it to them. Hopefully, they will not e need to use it. If they do, then this run is cooked. It's co This is... I feel like this gym battle will require the most strategy. I'm not, like, super confident. Like, I can feel it in my gut that I'm not, like, super ready. But as long as Soul Rock is okay, and if Soul Rock somehow dies, I have Ralph, and I have Magikarp. So I think I should be okay. And leveling up Erend and leveling up Soul Rock is not gonna help anymore at this point. Can I not buy ethers? What? What? Okay, Pokemon fans in chat, can you buy ethers? I thought you could buy ethers. Am I clueless? Yeah, the closest shop is Monville City. Also, I should rearrange my backpack. Wait, I can't rearrange my backpack? That's dumb. I got two potions, 26 super potions. I have four elixirs. Max ether. Times two. Okay, I think I don't need to go buy more ethers. I should be fine. If I have to waste them, it's okay. There's gotta be a place where I can buy them later. I just wanna go. I'm ready to go. Six gym, here I come. Okay. Prediction time. Will I lose any Pokemon this gym? Go Gamba. This one could be a yes, but I don't know, we'll see. Fortress City Pokemon Gym. Leader, Winona. The bird user taking flight into the world. Here we go. 
Yo, how's it going, Champion Bound Pison? Poor Tree Gym Leader Winona is a master of flying type Pokemon. She's waiting at the back of this gym behind the rotating doors. She's waiting for new challengers who are trying to take wing. <laughs> okay, go for it. Tanko Miedo. Oh, it's like a revolving door. You can't go back. Okay. You know the drill. I have to do all the encounters. Wait, and double checking my party one more time. You have So, Ralph, Aaron, Magikarp, Cole, Blaziken. Okay. Right now, Cole and Aaron have the least HP, but it's still 80 plus. I'm ready. When, Min when Winona takes to battle, her face shines with beautiful determination. I'm not letting you witness that lovely sight. Oh my god, he's a soon. Bird Keeper Huberto would like to battle. He sent out a Skarmory. Skarmory is flying and steel. That means dark type is immune, but psychic may work. And also, my attack is increased because I have the X deck. Let's try Rock Throw. Normal types do not work in me, okay? Oh, probably because he's also Steel type. That's why that's not working as well. Okay. For this fight, I will swap in Ralph because I want to save So's PP. Yeah, because Skarmory has steel, normal type moves. Oh, you missed. Okay. Psychic does not work. But he's immune to dark types, what? Oh, cause he- Is he a dark type, huh? Whatever, Psychic will still work. Huh. Okay, well... First fight done! So, gain 270 XP. You defeated Bird Keeper Huberto. Ah. I couldn't stop you. You got 1,920 Poké Dollars for winning. Oh, I also forgot to buy the 20 the 20 HP heals. I should be fine for now. I'm only going to use it if I really need to. Ooh, unavoidable fight. Oh, that's going to be a double battle. No, I don't want to. No. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm so smart. Yup. Man, that almost got me. Winona taught me personally, you can't beat me easily. <laughs> Watch this. Picnic or Ashley would like to battle. They have three Pokemon. They sent out a Swablu level 27. Swablu is normal in flying, but they have poison type moves, which I am immune to for the most part. So rock throw. Okay. Picnic or Ashley is about to use Swablu. Will I change? No. Picnicker Ashley Lee is about to use another Swablu. Will I change? No. <laughs> oh, I guess I could have put in Ralph. You know what? It's fine.
You defeated Picnicker Ashley. I was beaten. You got 432 Polka Dollars for winning. If they have multiple Pokemon, I think I'll just swap in Rob for like a final turn. Behold the elegant battle style of bird Pokemon. Birdkeeper Jared would like to battle. They sent out a Doe Duo. Doe Duo is normal flying. I'm trying to remember if it has like Confuse Ray or something. I'm gonna try Confusion. See how strong So is. Oh, thank god. <laughs> Whenever they flash red, I'm like, oh, Okay, so So's confusion is pretty powerful, but not enough to one hit KO. But So is only like eight, eight, or eight to five levels above for this gym. Bird Keeper Jared is about to use Tropius. Tropius is flying slash grass. They have grass and normal type moves with some flying moves, but the flying moves won't affect me. Will I change? No. For this one, I can do Fire Spin first. That way it does gradual damage throughout. But Fire Spin won't do a significant chunk. And I don't want to necessarily use Rock Throw, even though I think Rock is strong against Grass. And I don't think Flying Moves will affect so, because they have Levitate. Oh wait, Ground Moves don't affect. I'll try Fire Spin. What? Sweet Scent. Lowers my evasiveness. Try again with Fire Spin. Stop! Oh, what? What the hell? <laughs> okay, Ralph, you want to fight Ralph? You really want to? Huh? That's what you get, you dumbass. Oof. So, grew to level 36. Let's go. Birdkeeper Jared is about to use Skarmory. Will I change? Yes. Because Psychic does not work against Skarmory. I might swap in Magikarp. Because Steel is weak against Water, I learned. Also, you know what else I learned? That some of you guys aren't subscribers. Which is my assumption. Because you know what? We're three hours into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing. For four ninety nine, just $5, skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free or prime. I'm sorry, I have to do it. If you don't want to miss the gym battle, subscribe. Do it now. Okay, we're back in it. So since Skarmory is still flying, I think Magikarp is the best choice here. Because so good hit, but he only has Psychic and Ground, and the Ground didn't do much damage against the last Skarmory I faced. Well, their attacks will still hit hard, but not do significant enough damage, because it's a type disadvantage. Magikarp has a dark type move, which will not work against Skarmory, because it's Im it's immune to dark type moves. So I will have to do water or dragon type. Hey, Magikarp, you're going in. And Magikarp is holding a berry. So even if Magikarp takes it somehow, Magikarp will heal. And he's 10 levels above. <laughs> and Magikarp has Intimidate. Surf. Water is not strong against steel. So the encounter I had with Aaron does not mean anything. 
That was just against the rock type move then. I need something with 100% accuracy? Dragon Rage. Why'd you hit me? How are you faster than me? Take that. You defeated Bird Keeper Jared. You, you're strong. You got 1,720 Pokedollies for winning. Okay, this is going not super smoothly, but it's making me think for every single battle, which I guess is how it's supposed to go. It's a challenge. Right now, So is down 8 HP. Ralph is down 14. I'll give Ralph a regular potion. I really wish I could buy more. Like, all the stores should have all the previous items available. Like, I hate how, like, different regions have different things. It's so silly to me. Oh, no. That's gonna be a double battle for sure. I don't think there's any way I can avoid that. Oh man, there, there's like no way. Ain't no way. Yeah, ain't no way. Wait, what the hell? Yeah, ain't no way. Okay, knowing that this is gonna be an inevitable double battle... Since both So and Ralph have psychic type moves, I'm gonna switch Ralph for Magikarp. That way, going into this double battle, we'll have a ground, a psychic, a dark, water, and dragon type move. Why do they do this to me? There's no need for Winona, our gym leader, to deal with you. I'm plenty good enough for you. The lovers are both Pokemon inspired to join this gym. As a member of the Four Tree Gym, I'm not allowed to lose. Well, you're going to, man. And I'm actually not allowed to lose either. I don't want to reset. Camper Flint and Bird Keeper Eduardo would like to battle. They each have two Pokemon. Doe Duo level 29, Swellow level 29. Pokemon fans, the Surf affect my team as well. Because if Magikarp does Surf, he can hit both of them. But will Surf hurt? <laughs> will hurt? It'll hurt Soul too, right? I think so. It's gotta. Which it will kill Soul for sure. For sure. Okay. Let's see. Swallow, I think, is the one I should be scared of. I think I just gotta pick them off one by one. I I cannot I cannot do surf. I cannot. I can't. Just to like guarantee hurt swallow. Magikarp. Twister. Wait. Twister affects both of them. That's huge. Okay, it didn't do. Barely any damage. Okay. <coughs> so probably Bite will work better. Yup! Camper Flint sent out a Zatu, which is a flying psychic type. Yo, stop! So that means I should rock the Rosatu, and the Magikarp should bite Do Duo. Yup. Bird Keeper Eduardo sent out a Pelipper. Why did Peck me? You're so stupid. Yup. 
Okay. Since Pelipper is water flying, I should swap out so just to be safe. That way it doesn't target me. Aaron Griddle, level 31. Let's go. We're going to swap in so for Ralph, just in case Magikarp's move does not one hit you, which it probably won't. Bite might do a lot of damage, Dragon Rage possibly, but let's do Bite. I'm playing totally safe this gym, I'm not playing around. Why using Protect? That's so silly. Well, you know what's gonna happen now, right? Take the L. Camper Flint and Bird Keeper Eduardo were defeated. Winona, I... I lost! It was too much of a load for me to bear. You got 2,784 Poké Dollars for winning. Okay. See what's up ahead. This is just a single battle. I'm gonna see if I'm healed properly. You know, I should keep... I think I'll keep Magikarp as my second party member. Because Magikarp has greater HP, also a greater variety of moves. Ralph is cool, but since So has a Psychic type move, it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's go. You better know that there are all sorts of flying type Pokemon. You do know that, right? Uh-oh. He's gonna bring out a Salamence or some shit. Watch this. Birdkeeper Darius would like to battle. He sent out a Tropius. Oh. Level 30, though? Ooh. Okay, Tropius is ground flop. So has the advantage. I'm going to... He also have flying. Yeah. Fire spin won't kill because it's a low offensive move, but it is gradual of damage. But it doesn't do it doesn't do a significant amount of damage. Rock throw, why not? <laughs> Dude, I'm such a sucker. I'll keep doing the same move. I don't care. What? What? Okay. Razor leaf is grass. Is grass strong against rock? No, 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 no. Maybe grass is strong against psychic because any time, like a low dead or lombre did. Oh, it was the one where it takes away my HP. It was super effective against Ralph. So maybe is, is psychic weak to grass? What the hell? What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna look at my Pokemon. Just to vocalize my thoughts. Magikarp is a water type, but water is weak to grass. So if it does another Razor Leaf... Uh-oh. Errand? Uh-oh, I don't want to do that. Ralph? Wait. No. Yes? Yeah, wait. We just confirmed that Psychic is hypothetically weak to grass. Cool? Cool? Because Cool is just fire type, I think. Yeah, Cool should have the obvious advantage here. I, w I wish on this screen I could see their move types as well. Cool is 89 HP. I don't think flying moves would affect Cole that much anyway, so... Why not? Cole? <laughs> Please don't die. <laughs> Razor Leaf should not hurt me. Yep. Let's see, they got Smog, which is Poison. Fire Spin. Flamethrower. How is this guy faster than me? Oh wait, I'm a tortoise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that logistically makes sense.
You defeated Bird Keeper Darius. You seem to know your stuff. You got 960 Poké Dollars for winning. Okay, so all in all, I think the team I brought is pretty good so far. Yeah, the strat, bring at least one or two type advantages and then just a variety team. That is obviously the way to go. Okay, let's do a little bit healing. I don't care if I wasted the heal. Cold and great. He deserves the heal. He deserves it. Okay, I continue on. Oh, dead end. Don't tell me the gym leader is here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Wait, what? Um... D-U-M? I think I'm D.U.M. I- How am I- Because <laughs> you can only move them in one position! Hi, Sky. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I think- I genuinely think I'm D.O.M. <laughs> oh no. This can't be! Wait, did I cook myself? 
No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> okay, there... If I have to look this up, how embarrassing would that be? This is a kid's game! Wait, 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 <laughs> I figured it out! Oh my god, how did I not see that earlier? SMH, dude! I was like this close to looking it up too. I'm a gamer. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna double check my party. Show has 103 HP, Magikarp has 119. Magikarp is very, so is X attack. I should be good. I have eight turns left of rock throw. Will I really need 15 turns though? I assume this Gmulator has probably four Pokemon. I think the last Gmulator had four. They might have five, which would be crazy. Are there any gyms where you didn't lose any Pokemon? Yeah, of course. I think there was... Wait, let's see. I've only lost... <laughs> I lost Meryl and Bra at gym, so there was... How many gym leaders have I been? Yeah, there's been three gyms where I didn't lose any Pokemon. So yes, there has been. I'm not that bad. Okay, just to be extra safe, and I assume that I can buy more ethers later, I'm going to use the ether on so to restore to fully restore Rock Throw. Mainly because I don't want to waste a turn later. Because I'm not going to be- I, I, I can't afford to waste a turn in the actual gym battle. So, guys, it's time. I'm Winona. I'm the leader of the Four Tree Pokemon Gym. I've become one with bird Pokemon and have soared the skies. However, grueling the battle, we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of bird Pokemon and I. Okay, here we go. Man, she looks like she's for the future. She has five Pokemon. Ooh. Leader Winona would like to battle. They sent out a Swablu, level 29. Okay, Swablu is normal flying. I could swap in Ralph here just to save... So is PP. Sorry, I can't. Why did I make the acronym PP? I hate it. Okay, you know what? Since I used it... Rock throw. Screw you. Take the L. Die. <laughs> Leader Winona is about to use Tropius. Oh, I will change. Tropius kind of cooked so last time. Because I learned that grass is strong against psychic. So, Cole, you are in. I'm glad I brought you. Flamethrower. What was that? Whoa, that looks cool. I haven't used the flamethrower animation yet. Nice. Take the L. Cole Girdle level 33, let's go! Pearl is trying to learn Iron Defense. That's huge. Iron Defense. Hardens the body's surface to sharply rape defense. Fire Spin. Body Slam, Smog. Oh, I thought Torkoal had a defense move already. K 
Okay, fire spin and poison or fire spin and smog have same accuracy of 70. Smog does 20, fire spin does 15. Smog, it says may poison. Fire spin is guaranteed two turns. So at least two turns of damage. You know, Torkoal is a contender for my Elite 4 team. And I think Iron Defense would be good. Now, based on my personal playstyle, I probably will not use Smog. Even though Poison is pretty cool. But, like, I've seen Firesmith and it's kind of lame. Already planning for the Elite Four? Yeah, I, I got five gyms. Soon to be six. So, of course, I gotta get ready. And let's be honest, if I have Flamethrower and Fire Spin, I'm always gonna choose Flamethrower. So, you know what? Screw Fire Spin. I know I'm not gonna use it. One, two, and poof. Cole forgot Fire Spin and learned Iron Defense. Leader Winona is about to use Pelper. Will I change? Yes. Pelipper is water flying, so so not good. So will drown. Ralph Ralph is such a cop out though. Psychic is always such a cop out. Man, if only I had bruh. Bruh would sweep everybody. Okay, so it's either going to be Ralph or Magikarp. <laughs> I have no regrets calling him Magikarp, okay? Magikarp has Dark, Dragon, and Water. I don't think Dragon does much damage against Flying. And Ralph has Levitate. Ralph, you're in. Mainly because I want the money because Ralph is holding the amulet. You are such a little bitch. Why I yada? I'll punch through that protect. Take the L. You should have protected. Leader Winona is about to use Skarmory. Will I change? Yes. Psychic does not work against Skarmory, as I learned, so... Even though So has ground type, it will not work, because we faced a Skarmory earlier, and we know this is probably going to be a higher level. So... Magikarp is in. And water isn't necessarily strong... And I don't think the dragon move was strong against Skarmory either. But Magikarp does decrease their attack. So. Oh, Bite does minimal damage as well. You know what? Drown him. He will sink in the water. A crit? Yo! Leader Winona is about to use... Altaria? Okay, I've never heard of an Altaria. What is that? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Altaria? What the hell? I thought I knew all the Pokemon from this gen. Altaria? I'm like skimming through my head all the flying Pokemon from this gen. Altaria. The only Pokemon that I can picture that's flying is the Evolve Form of Swablu, and I legit don't know what the Evolve Form of Swablu- I know what it looks like, but I don't know what it's called. I assume that's what this is, because you already had a Swablu, and usually gym leaders will have the baby version, the teen version, and the, the adult version. So I think if it's the Evolve Form of Swablu, it's gonna be normal flying, but it might have poison moves. So, I'm gonna see...
The safe choice would be Magikarp or Ralph, but we took so long leveling up so. And if I am correct that Altaria is the evolved form of Swablu. Wait, no, Altaria is a dragon type, I think. No, 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 not Altaria. I don't know if it's called Altaria, but I think the Swablu evolves into a dragon. It doesn't look like a dragon, but I think it becomes a dragon type. I think? No say, but oh, um, either way, the highest level this gym leader has 31, so, so, you are in. If I'm correct, I'm a so good a Pokemon. Was right, okay. That's just a theory, a game theory. Level 33 Altari? Oh shit, I'm- <laughs> I wrote down like all the gym levels. Oh, you guys can't see, it's washed out. Petalberg is 27 to level 31. This gym is level 29 to 33. Oopsie. Okay, it's kind of good that I overleveled so a little bit. Okay, so if Altaria is- okay, for sure flying normal. It could be dragon, so... You know what time it is, rock throw time. I was right. It's attack rose. Uh oh. And it's speed. Ooh. Yo. An orange berry? That's not enough. Altario fainted. Aaron grew to level 32. You defeated Leader Winona. Never before have I seen a trainer command Pokemon with such grace than I. In recognition of your prowess, I present to you this gym badge. You got 6,600 of... Wait, you got 6,600 Poké Dollars for winning? No! Aaron is evolving! He's gonna be ugly now, I bet. Five bucks, he's gonna be ugly. He looks like a little beetle. Congratulations, your errand evolved into Laren. You received the Feather Badge from Winona. With the Feather Badge, all Pokemon up to level 70, even those received the trades, will obey your every command. You will also be able to use the t You will also be able to use the HM move Fly outside of battle. And this... This is a gift from me. You obtained the TM-40. TM-40 contains Aerial Ace. It's speed. No Pokemon should be able to avoid it. Yo, I got her number two. I'm in. Okay, this gym had me shaking in my boots a little bit. But you know what? All the guides said Solrock sucks. But you know what? He's pretty cool. But definitely not the strongest. The only reason why I leveled up Soul Rock is because the rock advantage. He was literally the only Pokemon besides Su that had a rock type move. Oh my goodness, it's over, finally. And you know what time it is? Winona is on the board, everybody. Six gym. Add that to your live splits. 81 hours. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> It's water. Okay. Finally, after all those hours, the six gym is defeated. Beep. Scott. I have peace and it's me. Just as I thought, you won at the Fortree Gym. Your strength. Perhaps you really are the trainer that I've been searching for. Remember, you have a fan in me. I'll be cheering from the sidelines. Keep up the great work. Click. Ideal meal. That was a. I feel like that was actually 
the most Pokemon battling I've done in this whole playthrough. Or the speedrun, you could say. Like, I had to actually think through every single Pokemon type and move. And it's actually kind of good because as the one of the bird trainer... One of the bird encounters said it can be multiple types. As I saw, because the Trollbees kind of cooked my soul a little bit. Man, that was good. Did I lose the Pokemon this gym? No, sir. Screw the doubters. Okay, let's double check our map, see what's next for our adventure. So, I've seen all of Route 120, 121. I haven't seen 122, 23, but that loops back to 118. And I think you need a certain HM or TM to get through the Whirlpool, so I don't think I'll go there. As I promised, let's go see Lily Cove City. And then from that point on, it's just water. I assume past Lily Cove, I'll earn an HM or something. Sutopolis. Moss Deep. Evergrande. Evergrande. Pacific Log. <laughs> what? Pacific Log. Okay, so everybody, let's make our way to Lily Cove City. Man, that was good. Okay, so I'm gonna take away everybody's items because I want to level up a different Pokemon now. So the next gym is in Moss Deep. So when I was like figuring out what I need to prepare for, I didn't look at the Pokemon or the gym types. I only looked at the level of the Pokemon. And let's be honest, my memory is shit. So like if I looked at a walkthrough this morning of what Pokemon the gym leader has exactly, I would forget. Like I legit would forget anyway. So for Moss Deep Gym, my Pokemon need to be level 41 to 42. So that means I need to be at least 42 to 44 for whatever type is in Moss Deep. Now, Moss Deep sounds like a grass type, but as we learned from Fortree, the name doesn't mean shit. So, I just gotta figure out which Pokemon I want to use. Wait! So, kept the X attack? I thought that item disappeared after a fight. That's kind of huge. And then Blaziken is holding the increased fire attack damage item. Okay, so since I'm going to a new area, I probably won't need Soul Rock. I don't think I'm gonna bring Soul Rock to my Elite Four. Because right now, I've beaten six gym leaders, I only have two left, and then the Elite Four. So I need to actually start thinking about who I want to actually bring to the Elite Four. So for right now, definitely Magikarp. I think he is one of my most versatile Pokemon. Gardevoir. That's- the only problem with the Gardevoir is that they only have psychic moves, they don't have other move types. Also, one second. Okay, I have to mute.
Sorry, my sister wanted to say hi to me. <laughs> okay. Oh, shoot. Did I change the window size? No, it's fine. I thought I changed my GBA size. Okay, back in. As I was saying, I for sure want to bring Magikarp because they have the most versatile moveset. Maybe Errand? I think it evolves into the green one. I don't remember. <laughs> so I think I'll just keep leveling up Errand. <clears throat> God of Worship for sure. Torkoal is a huge contender. I think he's really cool. But also Blaziken has a fire type move, so I probably won't really need Torkoal. But Torkoal is so cool. And that was Ash's favorite Pokemon from that one season. So those are my... Obviously those are my strongest Pokemon anyway. But those are my contenders for the Elite Four team as of right now. So since we're going to a new area... I'll put... Torkoal back in the box, because Blaziken has a fire move. And we'll bring back Snazzy and Linoon to pick up items as we go along. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm very particular about the order and how I place. Because since Blaziken and Aaron are holding items, Magikarp isn't. So it's going to be a lot easier to see if Snazzy and Linus, Linus have items that they pick up as they walk. Okay, to Lily Cove City, everybody. Even though I was there before, time to actually explore. And after nearly four hours... I can change the pinned comment. Decent. Exploring Lilico. There we go. Finally, some actual new content. <laughs> well, I'm so happy I did the six gym. That was genuinely stressing me out. Earlier when I said I had a nightmare, that was real. That was a stress dream more than anything. Oh, back here again. Wait, Aaron isn't holding the XP share. I forgot to give it to him. There we go. Now Aaron can level up.
Tyranitar! That's the final evolution. All I could think about was Rex from Toy Story, <laughs> but I know for sure that's not correct. It's Tyranitar. Yep, this berry's grown. back here. I want to go to the city first. Shop it! Actually, maybe I want to level up my shop it. Because the curse was kind of crazy. No, I don't want to fight! Lucky. I think I should start planting some of the polka block berries. Continue on to Lily Cove. Finally, this plant as big as mysteries are at the bottom of the sea. Somebody said that, but I don't know. There's a deep underwater trench between Moss Deep and Sutopolis. That's what someone told me, anyway. Have you seen that strange cave in the cove at the edge of town? I'll go check it out. I came from Kanto. The Hoenn region is beautiful with all its water and verdant nature. Huh? Wait a second. Could there be a rare Pokemon that live only in this area? Huh. I wonder. I Mario wonder. I'm the 
favor, lady. I've recently developed an obsession for sticky things. Listen, if you have anything that is sticky, will you share it with me? Yeah. Really? What will you give me? Sticky? There's gotta be something I can buy at the shop here. Oh, you're not willing to share? No? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I don't want to share. Is that so? Then it's goodbye. It's gotta be candy, maybe. I wonder how many kinds of Pokemon there are in the world. It'd be great to cross seas and trade Pokemon with people far away. I've been hearing about some rotten scoundrels who'll steal Pokemon and rip off meteorites. I have a meteorite. I have, I haven't stolen any Pokemon, though. Don't worry. I would not do such heinous crimes. Team Aqua has been training their whalemer in the cove. We sailors can't get our boats out to sea with them in the way. Pokemon Contest Hall, the gathering place for trainers. Finally. Yippee! The lady at the reception counter gave me a case of Pokeblocks. You can see a whole variety of Pokemon here. That's why I make this place a regular place in my daily stroll. I made Pokeblocks with Mom, Dad, and Big Sister. They turned out great. I bet you can make smoother, better Pokeblocks if you have more people. The toughness contest is like extreme, man. Those muscular appeals, cascading sweat. I swoon. <laughs> Gage. Day in and day out, I lavished my care on this Pokemon. Its condition is peaking. Today, victory is mine. Wow. Coming out to a contest is a feast for these eyes. Would you look at all the Pokemon that just screamed to be painted? Okay. Cuteness Contest Normal Rank. Ezra's Electrank. Or Elector, I guess that's their name. I want to be on the board. Coolness Contest Hyper Rank. Alan's Tropo. Beauty Contest Normal Rank, Juliax Tuxa. I wanna talk to everybody first and then I'll go to the desk. Oh boy, Master Rank Contest, here I come. The world will know that my dearest Pokemon is the cutest being in all existence. The time has come. <laughs> oh dear, you look as if you're good at blending. Would you like to join us? Let's get blending already. Are they making drugs? You're supposed to do that in the comfort of your own home. I wonder what kind of Pokeblock I'll get. This is so exciting. Okay, today's gonna be the day that I set a new Blender speed record. I'm gonna make delicious Pokeblocks and make my Pokemon cuter. I love making Pokeblocks. I always have some berries with me. If you'd like, we could make some poke blocks together using the berry blender. You don't have a poke block case. The berry blender can't be used. Cool. Berry blender, maximum speed record. Okay. Coolness Contest Hyper Rank, Hannah's Guzon. Maybe that's the thing that's sticky, goo. Smartness Contest Super Rank, Melanie's Shut, shut Up. <laughs> shut Up! Toughness Contest Master Rank, Bailey's Pulse. Link Contest Results, Cool, Beauty, Cute, Smart, Tough. Okay. 
Welcome! This is the Pokemon Contest Link Reception Counter. You may enter contest together with one or more friends. Would you like to enter a contest? Wait... Didn't they discontinue online services years ago? Info. Which topic would you like? Link contest. This is a contest for two to four players linked using a wireless adapter or a GBA game link cable. Participants are first asked to choose the mode they wish to enter. There are two different modes. E-mode Emerald Mode is for two or four players, each with a Pokemon Emerald game pack. G-mode Global Mode is only for four players, each with a Pokemon Emerald, Ruby, or Sapphire game pack. The players should discuss which mode they want, then choose the same mode. Once all the players have chosen the same contest in the same mode, the entry registration is complete. After that, a contest will start in the usual manner. Global mode is specifically for four players who are linked using GBA Game Link cables. Each player must have a Pokemon Emerald, Ruby, or Sapphire game pack. Wait, can I not play? Hello, this is the reception counter for Pokemon contest. It appears that you don't have a Pokeblock case yet. In that case, we need to provide you with this. You obtained the Pokeblock case, let's go. Okay, now that we've cleared that up, hello, this is the reception counter for Pokemon contest. Would you like to enter your Pokemon? No, I'll, I want to do Pokeblocks. Pokeblocks will be made with your friends from berries in this berry blender. Oh yeah, I should save. <laughs> um. Searching for your friends. I don't have any. I'll go talk to the old man. Oh, did you want to make some poker blocks with this old timer? Excellent. Do you know how to make a poker block? No, sir. Okay. A little explanation then. Oh, don't worry. It's quite simple. When the blender zero comes to your marker, just press the A button. That's all you have to do. You'll see how easy it is when you try. Let's get started then. Let's berry blender. Starting up the berry blender. Please select a berry from your bag to put in the berry blender. Nabub. Oops. His name is Mr. I got three crits, 27 hits, nine misses. Results of blending. Pekka Berry, Nabba Berry, maximum speed, 95.3 RPM. Time, 33 seconds. Brown Cloak Block was made. The level is 12 and the feel is 20. I don't get what this means. Poke Block case. So the brown one is bitter and sweet. Feel 20.
What? So it, it so the Pokeballs like raise my stats for the contest. Okay. Let's see if I can even do a contest. ways to like make your PBA like have online again but I don't know how to do that <laughs> um man it really sucks that it was an online mini game well I guess I can't do the contest Contest episodes were like the best in the anime because the Pokemon look so pretty. Okay, so I guess I don't need the Pokeblock fruit. But you know what I do need? Subscriptions, because guys, we are four hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You could avoid the ad by subscribing. For $4.99, just $5, skip your coffee and get out of reviewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a sub available. Do it now. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. That really is a bummer that the contests were a solely online function. But you know what? That just shows that like Nintendo hates us. And we hate Nintendo. Got him. Okay, let's keep exploring. Hello, sir. Did you know about Did you know about the machine berry blender? Yes, sir. People have to work together to get it to spin faster. The faster you can make it spin, the better poke blocks you can get. I've heard. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I hope those are like quadruplets. When my wife gave birth to quadruplets, you bet I was shocked. But now seeing them play together, it makes me happy. Oh my goodness, imagine... Dude, I can't even imagine twins, holy shit. Oh my my, are you traveling alone? But you're so young! Good for you. I'm sure my kids can learn a thing or two from you. Me? I'm a master of Pokeblocks. If I get serious just a little, why? I can co... If I get serious just a little, why? I can concoct great Pokeblocks. Would you like to learn from me, the master of Pokeblocks? Sure. Oh good, you're a smart soul. This is a bit long, so listen up. Are you ready? If you look at Pokeblocks, you should see that they are rated in how they feel. The lower the feel rating, the better it is. Don't forget this. A good Pokeblock has a low feel rating and a high level. A Pokemon can eat more good Pokeblocks than ordinary ones too. And this is important. If you want to make smooth Pokeblocks, use different kinds of berries. Don't be stingy. The kinds of berries affect the smoothness of Pokeblocks. And another thing. The more people blending the berries, the smoother the Pokeblocks. That's why you should talk to other people and make Pokeblocks together. That's all you about that's all about that's about all you need to know to make good Pokeblocks. If everyone had Pokemon they love, smooth Pokeblocks, and a loving family, the world would be a happier place. Don't give up, dear. You know, I think I'm just happy with my GBA. I don't need kids. We're having multi-battles, but I know I'm gonna win. We're having multi-battles, but I know I'm gonna win. We're having multi-battles, but I know I'm gonna win. We're having multi-battles, but I know I'm going to win. <laughs> okay.
Lily Cove City Harbor. The ferry SS Tidal is under construction in Slate Port City. Service is scheduled to begin shortly. I saw this tall tower somewhere along Route 131. Could that possibly be? Be what? I heard there's a tower somewhere out of the sea routes. It's called the Sky Pillar, I hear. Until they finish making the ferry, we sailors have nothing to do. I wish they get a move on. The folks at the shipyard and slate port. I hope they get, like, unemployment. I beg your pardon? You're looking for a ship. I'm sorry, the ferry service isn't available at present. Shoo. Wait, my Pokemon can fly now. I can fast travel. Yo! I'll try it out after I explore the city. There's a Pokemon contest hall right in the... There's a Pokemon contest hall right in... There's a Pokemon contest hall right in this here town. That means well-raised Pokemon will come from all over the country. My heart swells with excitement. I was taking a relaxing snooze at the seaside inn to the sound of waves. When someone stole my Pokemon, who's the abductor? Team Aqua? Is it Team Aqua? Wasn't me. We just arrived here on our honeymoon vacation. We happened to see a Dragon-type Pokemon flying way up in the sky. Do cool Pokemon like that live in the home region? On our honeymoon, we vowed to see as many rare Pokemon as we can. So we were delighted to see a rare Pokemon as soon as we arrived. I mean, we are totally happy. Is this another trickster house? Hmm. So they doubled the guest by using Pokemon as attractions. Hmm. Well, maybe I should make a cute Pokemon our inn's mascot. I wonder if that will attract more guests to stay with us. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was too involved in watching TV. Since that Team Aqua came to town, the tourists have been staying away. It's the playground man. Scott. Huh? Oh, sorry, sorry. I was snoozing. I came to check out this Pokemon contest thing. I have to admit it. It does look quite entertaining, but... Consider me a purist. I prefer battles and tough trainers. But that's just me. Peace in. I hope you'll enjoy everything like the gyms, contests, battle tents, the whole works. Okay, well, I can't do contests. Any snacks? No. You didn't see me, sir. Pokemon Trainer Fan Club. The names of trainers are scribbled all over the sign. Whatever anyone says, my favorite trainer is due for gym leader Brawly. Everyone here, we're all huge fan of Pokemon battles. We discuss who we consider to be the strongest of all trainers. If you were to become famous, we might have become your fans. I've been hearing things about a tough new trainer. This trainer's supposed to be beating up gym leaders, even. Do you know anything about this new trainer? I think it's me. Peace in underscore 17. My favorite trainer is... Cool. Strong. And really nice. I wish there were a trainer like that. I'm also wondering where Brendan is. It's been a hot minute since we've seen Brendan. Oh, they're so cute. Even as we grow old and wrinkled, the sea remains forever young with the vivid brilliance of life. <laughs> I was 60 years ago. 
It was 60 years ago when my husband proposed to me here. The sea remains as beautiful as ever. <laughs> so cute. This looks suspicious. You found one Max Repel. I can't click on it. Let's talk to Team Aquaman. If this whole wild world becomes ours, Team Aquas, it will be a happier place for Pokemon too. They're Antifa. They both start with A. It's Brendan. No, 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 no. Uh, let's go change up our team. <laughs> Brendan has a water type. Maybe Gloom? Oh no no no, Tropius. Okay, I got my party ready for Brendan. Hopefully he doesn't want to find me because he's scary. Actually, let's give people berries. suspense it's not listen i've been teaching karaoke to my pokemon but now they're better than me i've done nothing but lose to them and even though i may lose to pokemon i won't lose to another trainer no sir we have to battle again lily cove department store overflowing with great merchandise and excitement a great place to find that something you need Brendan. Oh, hey, it's Peason. I'm running an errand for my dad. No, I'm not buying any dolls. Anyway, it's been a while. Want to have a battle to see who's been raising Pokemon better? Yeah. Ah, but you know I'm not going to lose to no Peason. Pokemon trainer would like to- Pokemon trainer Brendan would like to battle. He's got four Pokemon. He sent out Tropius? What level was it? Level 31. Okay. Surely Blaziken won't die? But since flying is strong against fighting... Ooh! Ooh! Just to be safe, Magikarp. Wait, no, 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 no! Grass- water is weak against grass. What am I doing?
Ralph should be... F no, Ralph is weak to grass. <laughs> I'm scared. I wish I had Torco! I'm- no! Ralph is probably fine. I should have brought Torco. I will keep Ralph in. Ralph is holding a berry. Surely they'll be fine. Thank you for not doing an offensive move. Thank you. My evasiveness fell. Look, my trainer Benden is about to use the looted colo. Will I change? Looted colo is grass water, but they sometimes have dark. I think Ralph is the better pick here. I'll stick with Ralph. My attack is lowered, that's okay. Okay, we're good. Pokemon Trainer Brendan is about to use Slugma. Will I change? Yes. Slugma is fire. Magikarp is in. Level 32 Slugma. Their attack is lower due to Magikarp's Intimidate. Surf. Pokemon Trainer Brendan is about to use Marsh Stomp. Marsh Stomp is water poison. So that means Ralph will be effective against the poison type. Level 34 Marsh Dawn. Oh, it's not effective. I guess Marsh Stomp is not poison. I thought he was poison. Oh well, it's okay. I'll do Psychic again, just because he might use a heal. And we're good! You know what? Brandon, more like Lendon. Man, Ralph is such a huge part of the team. Along with Bruh. Nothing beats a psychic type. Besides dark. And ghost. You defeated Pokemon Trainer Brenton. Huh. You've done a lot of raising. That stings a bit. I had a head start on you as a trainer, too. You got $2,040 for winning. 
I... I plan on going home to Little Root. You know, I'm helping out my dad on his Pokedex. It's coming together pretty decently, so I should go show him. Peace, and what are you gonna do? Collect all the gym badges and take on the Pokemon League challenge? Maybe I'll do that too. Well, anyway, hang in there. Whew. That was stressful. I just hate how he just, like, shows up like that. What I do appreciate, though, is that he asks if you want to battle. Like, he asked for consent. We love that. Maybe Minectric could be kind of cool. For now, I'll swap out... Because I assume we're going to have battles coming up. And my other Pokemon aren't high enough level yet. So I'm only going to bring my higher level Pokemon for now. And they're all pretty well-rounded, so it should be fine. to see what Team Aqua's up to. Oh wait, maybe the department store? Women be shopping. Is he gonna trade in Azumarill? Oh, dang it. I'm buying something for my Azumarill as a reward for winning a contest. Today my mom is gonna buy me some nice furniture. Whenever I come to the department store, I always end up buying all sorts of things because it's so fun. Not gonna lie, shopping is very fun. This is the Pokemon Lottery Corner. All shoppers at our department store get to draw a Pokemon Lotto ticket. If the Lotto ticket's number matches the ID and number of any of your Pokemon, you'll receive a fabulous gift. Would you like to draw a Pokemon Lotto ticket? Why not? The Lotto ticket number is 394... Three, eight. I need to run a check on this number to see if it matches any of your Pokemon ID's number. Please wait. I'm sorry, none of the numbers matched. Please do visit again. Dang it. Well, welcome to Lily Cove Department Store. Oh, hello. Welcome to Lily Cove Department Store. Which floor would you like? The second floor. Thank you. My husband is waiting at home. What would make a good gift for him? Learn to use items properly. That's basic, really. I'm leaving on a long journey soon. I need to stock up on items. Welcome. Everything! Yes! That's huge! A max potion? I'll buy five. We shopping. Using the company card today. They have mail too.
a full heal. I have 10. I want to make sure I have 10 of every status heal. Just so I don't gotta go shopping. And I got so much money anyway. I don't need the fluffy tail. Yo, I love the department store. And I'm using the stairs because I'm exercising. I gave it carbos to my Pokemon and its speed went up. I want, I want my Pokemon to have more endurance. I'm trying to decide whether to raise defense with iron or special defense with zinc. For quickly toughening up Pokemon, items are the best. Protein boosts attack and calcium raises special attack. Wait, so if there's no max to how much I can like zoot up my Pokemon and pump them with steroids, I can make my Elite Four team like super strong. Welcome. I have a lot of these that I've just picked up through Snazzy, so I don't need to buy any of the X items. Oh, these cost like $10,000, though. I guess it's good that Snazzy picks them up, then. We're gonna have to come back here. I'd like to get all the different TMs, but a Pokemon learns only four moves. There are so many different kinds of TM moves. In catalog I read said so there are 50 different kinds. Hmm. An attacking move or a defensive move? It's no easy matter to decide which TM move should be taught to Pokemon. Welcome. TM38. A powerful fire attack that may burn the foe. TM25 strikes the foe with a thunderbolt and may paralyze. TM14. A brutal snow and a wind attack that may freeze the foe. TM15. Powerful but needs recharging the next turn. It doesn't say what type of move it is. That's kind of lame. TM17. Negates all damage but may fail if used in succession. Well, that's protect. TM20. Prevents status abnormality with a mystical power. TM33. Creates a wall of light that weakens physical attacks. Routes had that. TM16. Creates a wall of light that lowers special attack damage. It's gotta be psychic moves. Okay, well, you can't buy every single TM, I guess. Hello! <laughs> There's so many cute mats here. I wonder which one I should get. Maybe I'll buy them all. This place is full of cute dolls. I should buy some for me instead of just for my children. Man, only women here. Women be shopping. I'm not big enough to raise Pokemon, so I'm getting a cute doll instead. Welcome. They have every single doll! Guys, should I do a buying every single stuffed animal speedrun? Women only cub? Yes, sir. Okay, the cushions are stupid. And that's like literally Deadpool. Why do you have so much money? Um, I stole. Okay, these cushions are dumb. They're dumb. I want to fill my room with plushies. But, for real, I picked up an item that doubles any money you get from any fight. So I've just been stealing from them. It's so cool how you can do so much with so little with pixel art. You need to have a good understanding of form and depth. It's windy outside. Okay, I don't want no men. The only thing I want is the dolls, but I'm not gonna decorate until I beat the Elite Four. Got it. 
thief simulator? No, I would never. When I see the wild world from up here on the roof, I think about how nice it would be if it were just... I think about how nice it would be if there were more than just one me, so I can enjoy all sorts of lives. Of course it's not possible. I know. Would you be interested in having a Pokemon Learn substitute? No. Oh no? A Pokemon can make a copy of itself using it, you know? I'm good. Oh, I'm bone dry thirsty! Don't they have set dates for their clear out sales? I watch TV, but they never show any commercials. <laughs> Isn't that great, though? It's a vending machine. Which drink would you like? I'll buy one of each. Just to see how much... Oops. I bought extra water. Just to see how much HP it heals. Fresh water heals 50 HP. Lemony heals 80? Yo. few more. Oops, I misclicked. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm done shopping. Woman me shopping. The department store is pretty cool. Not gonna lie, my favorite place in the whole game. But I do really appreciate how they have basically every single item you can purchase. A billionaire's mansion. Lily Cove Museum, Pokemon Masterpiece Collection and Exhibit. I'm an art dealer. I'm a buyer and seller of fine art, especially paintings. I've heard that the museum here has magnificent works on exhibit. I'm quite cultured myself, so I go go take a peek. Welcome to the Lily Cove Museum. Please take the time to enjoy our collection of fantastic artwork featuring Pokemon. It's a painting of grass Pokemon swaying in a breeze. They appear to be enjoying the wind's gentle caress. It's a painting of a beautiful, smiling woman with a Pokemon on her lap. The lady is pretty. She's like... I'm not saying that. This Pokemon is adorable, just like our little boy. This art museum. Well, you can see many fantastic paintings. And the curator is a wonderful person. Among artists like myself, this museum is an inspiration. It's a replica of a famous sculpture. It depicts an ancient bird, Pokemon. That looks like a... a Pidgeotto. It's a big Pokeball carved from a black stone. It was apparently used in festivals in the olden days. It's a huge stone tablet inscribed with Pokemon in dense text and the small characters of an ancient, unreadable language. The unknown? Battling with Pokemon is fun, I'll grant you that. But one mustn't forget our love for the fine arts. It's an odd landscape with bizarre and fantastic scenery. It's a delicious looking painting of berries. This painting could make you hungry. It's a very old painting. The paint is peeling here and there. It's a very old painting. The paint is peeling here and there. It's a painting of a legendary Pokemon from long ago. The artist, paint the artist painted this from imagination. 
I'm the curator of this Museum of Fine Arts. It's heartening to see someone so young as you in our museum. Have you viewed our collection of paintings already? Yes, sir. Oh, I do believe that you seem to be a Pokemon trainer. Have you interest in paintings, too? Oh, excellent. You do like paintings. Then, may I ask you to come with me? Playground Man? This is our special exhibit hall. As you can plainly see, there is not a single painting on exhibit. Here, I don't wish to exhibit works of so-called classical art. Such classical works you can see on our ground floor. I wish to exhibit work that is far different from the classics. Art, after all, is not restricted to old famous works. This exhibit hall, I wish to fill it with modern and vibrant artworks of Pokemon seemingly ready to spring forth into glorious life. I beg your pardon. I didn't intend to monopolize the conversation. Now, as you are young and yet obviously well-traveled, you must encounter lively Pokemon and works of art depicting them. If you were to come across such a painting, may we ask you to obtain the artist's permission to exhibit it here? Oh, I thought I could paint. So it's just like a collectible room, I guess, then. Dang. I thought he was like, I'm gonna give this whole gallery to you, Peace said. Yes, sir. I guess we're looking for paintings. We continue on. Oh, yes, I'm the move deleter. I can make Pokemon forget their moves. Would you like me to do that? That's huge. That's actually huge. Pokemon are partners to people. They aren't our tools. Unfortunately, there are some people who fail to understand that. Is he calling me out? Uh-oh. Hey, you! Don't go near the cave of the cove. Why? You don't need a reason why. I'm an adult, so just listen to me. Yeah, Shane. When it gets right down to it, the same way suits suit me perfectly. I missed it. And you, a berry suits you to a T. Why should that be so? You obtained the Rostberry. When it gets right down to it, it's because you're a trainer. Uh, thanks, man. Oh, no Ion Secreto? Dang. Okay, let's go defeat Team Aqua. <laughs> we moved Marluda to our secret hideout today. Wait, who are you? I was just talking to myself. I'm just a grunt, so I don't know what the boss is thinking. But being on Team Aqua, I know I'll get the chance to do big things. Wait, who are you? I was just talking to myself. Huh? What? What's that? I'm not near awake yet. Here, you can have this. You obtained the TM-44. Ah. Sleep is essential for good health. Sleep and regain health. TM-44 rest. The user sleeps for two turns to restore health and status. Oh, that's what Snorlax does. Hmm. You know of the peculiar cavern in this cove. 
That ought to have been a natural formation, but then that Team Aqua came along and made their renovations. They call themselves the nature-loving Team Aqua. But what they do and what they say don't match at all. They're liars and crooks and thieves. Oh, I'm back here. Shoot. Shoot, dude. I think I've explored most of Lily Cove. Still have no clue what this is. Well, the cavern is here. I need to surf. There! Wilmer! Leap out of the water now! Huh? What do you want? You're messing up our training, so can you, like, get lost? <laughs> Are those Pokemon? Tentacool, level 10. <laughs> okay, I guess the water Pokemon are just random level. Pentacle level 15. Ralph grew to level 40. Let's go. I'm going in. Aqua hideout. Double battle? I love Magikarp and Ralph as party leaders. No, we know they usually have dark types. They should have Blaziken. There we go. What? What do you want with Team Aqua? Our boss is near. He's on his way to Mount Pyre in Route 122. Well, why did he go? <laughs> Do you really think I'd tell you something that crucial? Oh, okay. I guess I can't sneak into their hideout, even though, like, I brazenly just walked in. <laughs> so, Route 122, they say. Oh. It's back past the city. Okay. I can also maybe check out the safari building too, because now I have a Pokeblock case. Well, we're backtracking. I'm gonna change our pin message too. I can use my back now. Hell yeah. So that was Lily Cove City.
I think this is where the fairy pulls in. Ahead looms Mount Pyre. It is a natural monument to the spirits of the departed Pokemon. This is not where the fairy is. It's obviously by the port. <laughs> I'm Kalulis. Route 122, everybody. Maybe some new Pokemon. Wingle level 17. That is not new. Level 23 Tentacool. Man, Ralph is so cool. I'm gonna do a whole loop around this rock island and then I'll hop on. Looking for secrets? No eye. No eye secretos. Level 6 tentacle? <laughs> And we're in. Mount Pyre. Shop it, level 24. Knock off? No, I took my charcoal! Do I get it back? Okay, he's, he gets it back. Okay, I thought he just steals it. I know there is a... A thief move where they just take your item. This is the final resting place of my zigzagoon. I cherished it. Oh, this is a cemetery. Oh. Okay. That's why there's ghost Pokemon. That makes sense. Okay. I guess I'll make Blaziken party leader then. The frickin' curse.
Did you come to pay your respect to the spirits of departed Pokemon? You must care for your Pokemon a lot. No, I just came here to defeat Team Aqua. You know, I'm a vigilante. All sorts of beings wander the slopes of Mount Pyre. There is no telling what might happen. Take this. It's for your own good. You obtained the cleanse tag. Cleanse tag. A whole item that repels wild Pokemon. Oh. So it's like an infinite repel. That's kind of cool. Another Shuppet. Level 27. Ooh. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I guess this is Shuppet Central. Level 33, let's go. Oh, fresh air. <gasps> A bull pigs? No way. The sprite is kind of ugly, though. Blaze against level 44, so the quick attack might work. I'll do Magikarp. Or no. They're all kind of strong. <laughs> Oopsie. I'll do cool, because surely the fire attacks won't do too much damage. I'll try smog. I missed. Really? Nice. From this point on, I'm not gonna hurt. I'm just gonna toss Pokeballs. No way! Vulpix was kind! Vulpix, Fox Pokemon. It can freely control fire, making fiery orbs fly like will o wisps. Just before evolution, its six tails grow hot as if on fire. Okay. I gotta name it Valerie. I don't know why. Why does the sprite look like brown? Am I colorblind? I'm gonna put an O to like stand out and be cool. Everybody, welcome Valerie to the team. Nice. Finally, a new Pokemon. Wait, that probably means there's gonna be more fire Pokemon. You found one TM48. Skill swap.
You found one max potion. You found one ultra ball. Oh, these are all tombstones. I'm taking the offerings from the tombstones. Nobody snitch. You guys did not see me. Oh, not every tombstone has an offering. Okay. You find one max ether. Nothing in these headstones. Mount Pyre. Ooh. Ha! <laughs> Too bad for you. If you came earlier, you only would have had to battle the wimpy Team Magma. But since you arrived now, you have to take on our toughies. Uh-oh. Team Aqua Grunt would like to battle. They sent out a Carvana. Carvana is dark slash water, so if I have higher speed, double kick will merc. Yup. You defeated Team Aqua Grunt. Ah, I should have let you take on Team Magma first. You got 640 Pokedollars for winning. Oh, my bag is full. I'm trying to give Blaziken the amulet, but my bag is full. <laughs> Gotta do a little bit of rearranging. Okay, it's fine for now. one zinc. Oh, I can't progress? Dang. I mean, go to the right. No, those Team Magma goons got here ahead of us. We can't fall behind. Team Aqua Grant would like to battle. They sent out a Zubat. Level 32. Uh-oh. Wait. I forgot Zubat can fly. May all be they. 
That could have been bad. <laughs> Dude, imagine being taken out by Zubat. It's almost as bad as a uh, Graveler being taken out by a Surskit. I thought you had one of those magmas who happened to come back. You got 1,280 Poké Dollars for winning. Oof. That sucks. You know what else sucks? Watching ads. Because guys, we are five hours over, five hours into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link up as a prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for fuel prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a prime sub available. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Thank you for the gifted sub, Alex. I appreciate that. We hit our release of Pokemon sub goal from the other day of five. I have to kill my Vulpix. I just caught it! You know what I'll say? You're a bully. But thank you for the gifted sub, Alex. Fuck, I, I wanted the Vulpix! It's fine. It's fine. Start new goal. God damn it. Okay, next Pokemon to kill? Six subs. <laughs> you were holding off on that, weren't you? It's fine. Ninetales apparently is mid. Allegedly. So, next time we get to Pokemon Center, I will release Vulpix. My hands aren't crossed. It's gonna be a while till we get to one, though, so... Um, watch till the end. God. It's fine. I'll be fine. I'll, you know what? I'll just catch Ninetales. Oh, that's a double battle. Let's double check my party. But once again, thank you, Alex, for the tier one. I appreciate it. And at first, gifted sub of the month. You should have gotten bonus channel points. I'll do Blaziken and Magikarp. Because I assume one of these two grunts is going to have a dark type Pokemon. You. You saw me on Mount Chimney. You don't belong to either team. So, why would you be here? Oh, I know. You tried to join Team Magma, but they wouldn't have you. Well, don't think that we'll let you join our Team Aqua. They caught me. Oh my god, they're holding hands. Team Aqua Grunt and Team Aqua Grunt would like to battle. He sent out a Poochiana and a Whalmer. I was so right! Level 30 each. Oh wait, that's a water Pokemon. Uh oh. <laughs> um. I can swap an errand. Water isn't weak against. Or steel isn't weak against water. Blaziken? We're gonna swap in errand. Because if Wilma does surf, you die. And cool thing, you know a Magikarp? Twister catches both of them. Mm. 
Wilmer flinched. Oh, I'm scared. My speed fell. That's okay. Aaron? Let's see. Strength, headbutt, iron tail. Iron defense. Now, I don't know what steel is strong against. But I think strength is his strongest attack. Normal is weak against fighting. I don't think normal is like crazy strong. Okay, so I'm going to strength Puchiana. And then Magikarp is going to fight Wailamer. <laughs> yup! Fu, Fo, Puchiana fainted. Team Akrogan sent out a Carvana. Water dark as well. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, this Wailmer is actually DOM. It's literally doing like 1 HP. Man, Aaron is so cool. I cannot wait until... Wait, his rubs can hurt me. I cannot wait until I get a Tyranitar. Yup. Blaziken grew to level 45. Team Aquagrant sent out a Zubat. Dang, look at him go! Team Aquagrant and Team Aquagrant were defeated. If you're gonna mess with anyone, let it be Team Magma. If you wanna join Team Aqua that badly, we can consider it. You got 2,400 Pokemon dollars for winning. Yo, Aaron is pretty strong, holy moly. We continue on. Wait, the Team Aqua leader is actually kind of cool, I remember. Team Magma's march, he got ahead of us, but we also got what we wanted. The Red Orb reserved at Mount Pyre. I, Archie, now have it in my possession. <laughs> now we can bring our ultimate objective to fruition. Okay, team, we're pulling out. Oh, I don't get to fight him? Oh, no, this can't happen. Not only the blue orb, but even the red orb has been taken. The blue orb and red orb must never be separated. They belong together. Why are those men trying... What are those men trying to do with the two orbs? Oh, yes. Was it Team Magma who came and took the blue orb first? Well, in their haste, they left this behind. I couldn't imagine what exactly it could be. I would like you to have it. Perhaps it will be useful in some way. You obtain the Magma Emblem. The Magma Emblem. A metal-like item in the same shape as Team Magma's mark. Ooh, am I gonna infiltrate their base too? Mount Pyre is where we calm the spirits of Pokemon that have passed on. This is a high place where one can see all of Hoenn. The disembodied spirits of Pokemon must find solace here. It is a coincidence that you are here. 
Will you hear on my tale? A tale long told in the Owen region. Sure, old man. It happened long, long ago. The world was wrecked by a ferocious clash between the Pokemon of the land and the Pokemon of the sea. The Pokemon of the land raised mountains and created continents. The Pokemon of the sea raised huge waves and carved out oceans. Their fierce duel raged without end. The world was engulfed in massive infernos and vicious storms. The blue orb and the red orb brought an end to the calamity. Light poured from the two orbs and become the enraged adversaries. The pair made docile, dove deep into the sea where eventually they disappeared. They're underground. Well, that was Mount Pyre. I saved the world, but I lost the orbs. Oh, I can explore this area now. Give me a Nine Tails. A Chimeco? Level 28. I don't know what type Chimeco is. I'm trying to remember from the anime, like, what cutscenes I saw. It's gotta be, like, normal or ghost. Cole is my goat. You did not. That's gonna get annoying. The small didn't poison it. Oh yeah, it has like a percentage of poisoning. I think I just have to camp it out until it stops doing uproar. Because thankfully, coal is strong. It's poison! It's not. <laughs> It's calm down. Pokeball time. Row row. work on me. Ain't no way I missed. Oh, it's uproaring again. At least coal can tank. Okay, you guys mind cancel me? I'm using an Ultra Ball. I don't care. I need to catch it. It's gonna die because I poisoned it unintentionally. 
The one time the smog worked, like one out of, one of the one out of the one out of the seven times it worked. There we go. I got Chimico. Chimico, wind chime Pokemon. They fly above very actively when the hot season arrives. They communicate among themselves using seven different distinguishing cries. Chimeco. Oh, now that I look at the sprite of Chimeco, it kind of looks like the statue that was outside of the Lily Cove City. Chimeco. I can't think of anything good. What about chai tea? How do you spell chai? I need to make sure I spell it right. It's C H A I, that's what I thought. Everybody welcome Chai to the team. Okay, I think there was one more area on the initial ground floor that I didn't see on Mount Power yet. to Pokemon Center and kill Vulpix. You know what I think my new strat has to be? I have to say that I hate every Pokemon. That way Chad doesn't want to kill it. More people. Oh! A ghost! I'm gonna add Chimeco to my list. Hey, are you searching for Pokemon? You came out along after me. You're rude. Oh. Their encounters. Shit. Pokemaniac Mark would like to battle. They sent out a Rhyhorn. Watch this. Easy. You defeated Pokemon Egg Mark. Uh -uh, I'm sorry. Forgive me, please. You got 3,720 Pokemon dollars for winning. Okay, now that I know that these are battles, that kind of puts a wrench in my plans. I should keep Magikarp Carp as party leader too. I'll give Magikarp the Mystic Water. I'll, I'll keep Cole with the Quick Claw, but I do have to heal him.
There we go. Now I'm ready to fight. You're an unfamiliar sight. Depart before anything befalls you. Oh, they're a mystic girly. <laughs> Hex Maniac Leia would like to battle. They sent out a Spoink. Spoink is psychic. We don't make you get psychic! Erm. Um. Dark is strong against Psychic, I think. Yes, it is. In serio? Don't you do hurt yourself. Psyka, it copied my status change. Wait, so now you're confused? <laughs> magic coat. It shrouded itself in a magic coat. I'm confused? Yo! Oh, drown. You defeated Hex Maniac Leia. Huh, you're adorable. You got 1,498 Poké Dollars for winning. Okay, I don't see any other Hex Maniacs. So I think, I, I think I'm fine with Blaze again as the party leader. I'm terrified! Black Belt Xander would like to battle. They sent out Harayama. Level 31. Obviously, Ralph is going in. You defeated Black Belt Xander. No, I lost my wits. You got 1,984 Poké Dollars for winning. Okay, that's gonna be a double battle. I'm fine with Blaziken and Gyarados. We're here on a dare. <laughs> if I show her how cool I am, she'll fall for me. I know it. I know. I'll cream you and show her how cool I am. I think your girlfriend's gonna want to date me after this fight. Young couple Dez and Luke would like to battle. They sent out Adele Caddy and Minectra. Oh, this is actually a horrible matchup. Oh no. Magikarp is weak to electric. And Delcaddy, I think, is normal psychic. I, I can't remember. I know it's for sure it's normal. Blaziken has more HP. He's also level 45. So I need to swap up late. I need to swap out Magikarp. Maybe for Torkoal? No, I should swap it out for Ralph. Blaze again, you're gonna have to get a few hits in. Ooh, 
Ooh, lucky. And I'm paralyzed. Oof. Thank you for growling. I'll take it. Blaziken should quick attack. Blaziken is still paralyzed? That's fine. Oh, okay, Delcaddy is just normal, it's not psychic. Because I know Delcaddy, along with Skitty, has a move where they can mimic different times. Aaron Riddle level 34, let's go! You defeated Young Couple, Dez, and Luke. Oh, whoopsie. You got 3,968 Poké Dollars from winning. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You found one Ultra Ball. Oh, there's holes in the ground here and there. I didn't notice and took a tumble from the floor above. Above? What? Oh, there's staircases, I see. Memories of my darling Skitty. My eyes overflow thinking about it. Not fire. <laughs> this is no place for children, least of all you. What did I do? Psychic Kayla would like to battle. They sent out a Wobbuffet. Uh oh. Lazykin? You're going in the box. No, I can't switch! Fuck! Oh, so lucky, so lucky, so lucky. Oh my god. Psychic Kayla is about to use Cadaver. Will I change? Yes. Dark moves are strong against Psychic. I really need to level up a dark Pokemon. with the slacking. Psychic Kayla is about to use Noctu. Will I change? No. Oh, it's so cute. Die. <laughs> you defeated Psychic Kayla. I lost that cleanly. You got 1,048 Poké Dollars for winning. me why have you come here to battle and why are you battling a cemetery pokemon breeder gabrielle would like to battle they have six pokemon first off a level 26 skitty dude they have so many um double kick oh yeah fighting is strong against normal duh me all every day. Pokemon Breeder Gabrielle is about to use Taylor. Will I s change? Yes, Taylor is strong against Blaziken. Taylor has dark tech moves. Psychic will not work. I 
I kind of want to try coal. We're putting coal in. That coal into the battle. Level 26, Talo. Nice. Pokemon Breeder Gabriel is about to use Zig Zagoon. Will I change? No. Oh, it's level 20. I thought her Pokemon were level 30. Oh, he smelled me! Cool is so cool. Pokemon Breeder Gabriel is about to use Poochiana. Will I change? Yes. <laughs> A blazing. Gabriel is about to use low tad. Will I change? Yes. Low tad is grass water, but he has dark type moves. So best bet, Magikarp. Try Twister first. Wait, grass is strong against water. I forgot. Magikarp should be fine, though. Pokemon Breeder Gabriel is about to use C Dot. Light change? Yeah. I got coal. Or you know what? I'll do Blaze again. Mainly because coal is down 20 HP. I don't want to risk it. A level 26 C Dot. You defeated Pokemon Breeder Gabrielle. That was amazing! You're a very special trainer. You got 2,000 and 80 Poke Dollars for winning. I would like to see your Pokemon when they grow up some more. Please, I need to see your Pokenav. The rich atmosphere of the mountain has elevated my psychic power. A mere child like you, you dream of winning? Yes, sir. Psychic William would like to battle. They sent out a route. Oh, how cute. Maggie Carp, you're in. Psychic William is about to use another route. Will I change? Okay. How did you get three routes, my guy?
A Curlia, will I change? No. This guy would probably freak out if he saw Ralph. Magikarp grew to level 38. You defeated Psychic William. I drown in self pity. You got 1,240 Poké Dollars for winning. You found one Super Repel. It can only fall. Oh. It can only fall here. I didn't think there'd be that many encounters in this area. I thought this was just a cemetery, not a battleground. Another shop it. I'm running out of blaze kicks. I might want to use a repel, honestly. <laughs> Final blaze kick. And I missed. And I'm cursed! <sighs> That's really bad. I don't think Quick Attack does anything. Am I still gonna be cursed? I don't think so, right? Surely he won't take damage. Magikarp is also cursed. Okay, Blaze can not take damage, so once you put them away, they stop the curse. Okay. That took 40 HP. It's probably in my best interest to just attack him. Psychic doesn't affect the ghost. Maybe bite will work? Okay, it does. It's still a offense. It's effective? Wait, what? Dark type is effective against ghosts. That doesn't make sense, because, like, ghosts are evil. What? Huh? Okay, now I know. Another level? Holy... In serio. Shop at level 24. I 
love all things horrifying. It's like a disease. When I'm here, I shiver with fear. Man, they should become a poet. That was pretty good. Pax Media Tasha would like to battle. They sent out a shuppet. Hey, I just saw your best friend out back. Yo! Magikarp is so cool. You defeated Hex Maniac Tasha. Losing, I dislike. You got 760 Pokedollies for winning. Oh my goodness! It just never ends. Okay, that guy is obviously gonna have a fighting type. Teacher, please watch over my progress. Black Belt Atsushi would like to battle. They sent out a Hariyama. Level 32. Aaron grew to level 35. Let's go. You defeated Black Belt Atsushi. Teacher, please forgive me. You got 1,024 Poké Dollars for winning. It never ends. Oh, you got me. When I'm here, a curious power flows into me. Oh, I forgot to swap out, damn it. Next meeting, Valerie sent out of the Sableye. I want a Sableye. Oh, really? Protect? So lame. Oh yeah, Sableye has no weakness. Surf might work. That did nothing. Nice. You defeated Hex Maniac Valerie. The power is ebbing away. You got 768 Poké Dollars for winning. <laughs> I lost the match, but I have this little ability. Without ever laying my hands on my own Poké <laughs> Swapping my party around because the next guy is probably going to be a psychic type. Have you lost your bearings? Have no fear, for I am here. Psychic Cedric would like to battle. They sent out a Wobbuff. I didn't do that much. Let's try Surf. 
Oh, I think it's because Wobbuffet is normal and psychic. You defeated Psychic Cedric. Weren't you lost? You got 760 Pokedollies for winning. You found the TM30 Shuttle Ball. Okay, now I can fall down and get the secret item. You obtained the Lax Incense. My bag is full! I'll give the repel to somebody. You found the lax incense. A hold item that slower that slowly lowers the foe's accuracy. Ooh, that's huge. Good choice. A dusk. This should not kill. I'm confused. You know what? I'm not gonna have Magikarp attack, just Pokeballs. Why not? I'm gonna do Pokeballs until I'm no longer confused. Scott, let's go. Duskull. Requiem Pokemon. A glare from its single scarlet eye makes even burly grown-ups freeze in utter fear. It's a nocturnal Pokemon that roams about under the cloak of darkness. Duskull. What about Dusty? <laughs> Everybody, welcome Dusty to the team. Finally, not a shopping. Also, I promise I'll go back to the Pokemon Center now. I got stuck. You obtained the sea incense. My bag is full. I'm tossing the revive. I don't need the 750, I'm rich. You found the sea incense. Sea incense, a hold item that slightly boosts water type moves. Eh, kind of lame. Back over here. And there's one more final level. Oh, back at the start. Cool. Let's get out of here. So I did all the encounters in Mount Fire. I will probably come back to see if there's any Pokemon that I missed. But for now, 
Let's go get rid of Vulpix. This four not to mente. Dango gay. Ooh, how do you say release? I know Obtener is to obtain. Pero. Let's go. I'm asleep. Okay, I'm gonna take away all my Pokemon's items before I put them in the box. Magikarp has the water item, I think. Oh, my bag is full. Oopsie. Okay, well, let's get rid of Vulpix. I've stalled long enough. I just wanted to see I had a Vulpix for a little while. Wait, it's holding a berry. Can I get the berry? Nah, I don't need it. The Rossberry heals burns. I don't need it. <sighs> well, everybody. I had Valerie my Vulpix for like 10 seconds. And Alex wanted to kill it. So, everyone, peace I 27 Valerie will never get to see your true Valor. You could say that Valerie had stolen Valor. Purple hearts for Vulpix. Valerie was released. Surely I gotta get a Ninetail somewhere else. But thank you, Alex, for the gifted sub. If you guys want to release another Pokemon, cough it up. We need six more subs. But also don't. I I wanted a Vulpix. Like, Vulpix is one of my favorite from the anime. Okay. So I'm going to organize my box. Also, I think we're going to wrap up stream soon. Because I gotta make dinner by 5pm, so... I'm gonna switch away my inventory, reorganize my party, and then we'll pause for today. Because I think the next area I have to explore is 123. I'll put all these increased moves in my inventory for now. Ethers in my inventory. I forgot to check earlier. But I only need one, so it's fine. Okay, so I'm going to 
to pause here for today. 15 hours? Stop my timer. There we go. The game has been saved. So, that was day 13. Day so that was day 13, technically day 14 of the Peace Log 2024. I spent hours leveling up for the 6th gym. I defeated it, not necessarily flawlessly. I didn't loot a single Pokemon, but it made me use my big brain. And I definitely think that was one of the most challenging gym battles so far. But I caught a good I see a good handful of Pokemon. I caught three, but I had to kill Vulpix. But a good day of the Peace Log, everybody. Next time, we'll explore Route 122, 123, I think it is, and then head over to the Moss City and get ready for the seventh gym. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I need to go make dinner, so let's wrap it up here for today. We're gonna do calligraphy because we did get a gifted sub. So, if you want me to write your name, all you must do is subscribe or use your channel points and I'll write your name. I also found a new music comp. I'm getting so many, like, Nintendo music comps that I recommend it on YouTube now. This one is called Relaxing Supermarket Nintendo Music. Yeah, this is store music. I'm hoping to beat the peace lock by next week. That's my goal. Also, while I'm getting the second camera set up, if you could, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channels. Main channel for weekly stream highlights, and then clips channel for slop. Daily clips from stream. Oh wait, I have to update my Pokemon release counter. Well, you see my background. I always put a color block space in the background of my LBS, that way I can see if there's any black bars. Man, eight Pokemon, shit. Well, five of them are my fault, so... Whatever. Also, I get my hair down the whole day. Also, I tried something new. I saw this one video that said, whenever you shampoo, you should double shampoo your hair. And I tried it today. My hair feels softer. But I felt like I was wasting shampoo because after I washed it for the second time, because you're basically you're basically just supposed to like shampoo like you normally do, rinse it out fully, and then do it again. And like my hair does feel nicer, but I mean, because some people like shampoo their hair every day, I shampoo it every other day. So like me using double shampoo every other day. It's just the normal amount of shampoo I'm not realizing. So, like, it doesn't matter. Oh my god, Ludwig music. Oh my god, there's two of me. Hand reveal. Yeah, but I'm getting a lot better about keeping my hair down throughout the day. Mainly because, like, that's why, like, usually for these streams I wear long sleeve. That way I don't feel it on my neck. Because for the longest time, my hair was, like, really ratty and dry. So, like, I just hated the texture of it. But now that I know how to, like, take care of it, it's nice and soft. Which I take a lot of pride in. Because when I was younger, I talked about this before, but, like, I had, like, matted hair. Like, now I know why my mom never took me to get my hair done. Because that would have been a neglect case. Oof! I'm fine now, though. But. Oh, wait, this is the wrong journal. This is the brokey journal. What am I doing? Imagine being so broke you can't subscribe. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm broke. I'm kidding. But yeah, so like up until middle school, my hair was basically like matted. I had like faux dreadlocks and I didn't even want it. It's mainly because like I didn't know how to like take care of my hair. My, and my parents just like stopped helping me when I turned like six. 
They were like, it's your hair, you gotta figure out how to do it. So, I had matted hair for a long ass time. I'm genuinely surprised, like, no one at school, like, staffs did anything. But you know what? It's okay. I've kind of, like, gotten over it. Thank you for redeeming, Alex. Yeah. Man, you're clocking in how late? That's gonna go in your write-up. Wait, that's still the Brokey Journal! Wait, what the hell? <laughs> Wait! What? <laughs> Wait, did I draw in the wrong journal? Wait, yesterday I did channel point names in the rich people journal. Dude, what is this socialism? What the hell? Are you calling me broke? No, it was an accident. See, I tore it out. No brokies in the rich people journal. Dude, because <laughs> I, I have both my journals on like a little side desk by my stream setup. So I grabbed one. I was like, oh, this is not it. I grabbed the other one. They both have the brokey calligraphy. Dude. Uh, estoy cansada. I'm tired. I mean, I say I'm tired every day, but, like, not gonna lie. I've been sleeping well. Four from the top. Ever since I got that weighted blanket, holy moly, it does wonders. Also, we're six hours in a stream. I have to run an ad. Click subscribe. See if we got a Prime sub available. This is literally like the Ludwig slash Schlatt music playlist. <laughs> I have a signature song yet. I mean, I use the Yoshi's Island music for like YouTube video outros, but like I don't have like an intro song yet. And I don't know what to choose. Because it sticks with you. Once again, thank you, Alex, for the gifted to the chat room. I hope you enjoyed marking my Vulpix. I didn't. Also, I'm sorry for stalling on releasing it. It's just... I wanted to stall. <laughs> it's called... Karma. Do we have anybody else who wants to name Britain? Redeem now.
Here we go. Thank you, Alex, for redeeming. Okay, guys. I'm gonna wrap it up here for today. These peace log streams are getting shorter and shorter. But it's because, not gonna lie, sitting for eight hours is really bad. <laughs> I'm feeling it in my knees. My bee's knees. Okay. Plan is simple. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go see the Monkey Man movie, so I'm not gonna stream. I'm gonna hang out with my favorite sister and my roommate, because everybody got the day off tomorrow. Now it's pretty cool. So we're gonna see a movie tomorrow. There'll still be people home. Dude, I live with four people. It's crazy. There's like literally already somebody coming in and out of the house. Or the duplex. It's wild. That's like the most off-putting thing about like going from like your parents to like a shared unit or a shared house. There's always people in and out. They're always inviting people over too. You're like, are they smashing? <laughs> anyway. So, plan is simple. No stream tomorrow. I'll go live on Wednesday. I don't know if I'll stream Thursday. Oh, wait. That means only two days of peace lock this week? Shit. Anyway. I'll for sure go live Wednesday. Friday, subscriber only stream. And then... I think I'm doing something this weekend. I don't know. My friend has to confirm. So maybe I'll stream this weekend, but probably not. Kind of lacking on peace and streams this week. But you know what? I'm going out and doing shit. So, if you want something to watch tomorrow... Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Weekly stream highlights on the main daily clips on the YouTube Clips channel. And if you want something to watch right now, most recent YouTube video is I tried drinking and driving in Mario Kart. And it, it's an edit of the St. Patrick's Day stream. So if you missed it, go watch the YouTube video. It's a pretty solid highlight. Thank you guys for watching. Any chatter slurkers, thank you for hanging out for day 13, technically 14 of the Peace Slunk. I promise I'm going to beat it soon. Fingers not crossed. I promise I'm going to beat it. And once again, thank you, Alex, for the gifted sub to the chat room. I appreciate you. Thank you. Goodbye. I gotta go make dinner. My sister wanted fish filet. And I was like, I'll just make fish filet at home. It's really funny, because, like, she loves fish sandwiches. But they always come with tartar sauce. <laughs> and she hates pickles. She hates mayonnaise. Wait, this is the Pokemon music. I'm skipping this. I skipped it. Ew. Yeah, so anytime she gets a fish fillet or any fish sandwich, they always forget to remove the tartar sauce and she gets cooked and it's really funny. The look of disappointment on her face when she lifts up the top bun is hilarious every time. Oh, but Wendy's has a fish sandwich? And it's pretty good. It's a lot better than McDonald's. Final minute. Any last words for me, chat? Okay, I'll see y'all later. Probably Wednesday. Bye.